looked at and call our free phone number where you'll be put through to our friendly help team who can place your order. Alternatively, you can go to our website and click the sign up button. Once you have filled in the required details, you can start shopping. You can watch the show by clicking the on air now button on the front page. You can also use our quick search tool and narrow down your results. Once you have found an item that you like, you simply click on the buy now button and the item will be added to your basket. Don't forget that you can add as many items to your basket per day for only one P&P. Enjoy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Hello and welcome to Jewelry Maker on this Thursday morning. It's nearly the weekend. Can you believe it? We're going to be with you until one o'clock. I'm Jenny Cleary and today I have the privilege of being joined by the wonderful designer that is Natalia Coleman. Good morning, Natalia. Good morning. It's a privilege to be with you. What do, thank you I love you I, you know what we've got so many exciting things coming up today Natalia and I uh, but do join us at two o'clock today when Natalia will be doing a mixed medium kind of uh, masterclass if you want to get involved with fabrics and precious metal clay then make sure you tune in at two o'clock Natalia you've had some kits from us what can we expect uh, demo wise from you today Oh, well, it's a, a very varied set of kits, I would say. Mm -hmm. And I've had some interesting gemstone shapes and types and colours that I haven't worked with before. Ooh. So they've been really lovely to, to work with. I think you're going to enjoy the kits today. I really do. So even you, you've been, Natalia, have been jewellery making for a long time. Even you are discovering new shapes in gemstones that you haven't had before. And you've been with us for years as well, haven't you? So I've been here really years. interested. You've been here forever. <laughs> Can't yeah. get rid of me or Natalia. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know you've been trying. Now, <laughs> I've got so many wonderful stands to give to you today. Please don't forget to keep it interactive. We love to hear from you. Our early bird is brand spanking new. Oh, I love this. I love this. Uh, and you know, my producer Laura just said in my ear in an MS style way, not just any deluxe gemstone tube. This is the deluxe mixed gem. Look at it. Look at all of these wonderful gemstones. Now, these are rondelles, center drilled. I think these are gorgeous. Look at all of that bling. This is what we want for Christmas. This is what we want for the new year, isn't it? Jewelry that sparkles. Jewelry that looks fabulous and glamorous, darlings. Jewelry that is going to catch your eye at that Christmas ball, at that winter ball. You know what? When you've got all this bling and you've got it in rondelles, where are you going to put it? I actually think you could put it in any design. These will go in earrings. These will go in bracelets. You can stack them up. You can separate them. They're all exactly the same size. So if you want to create that uniform look, if, you want, if you've got a design in mind that you've just got to do, then this is for you. I think these look wonderful crochet. They're incredible with loads of wire work. There's just ever such a lot that you can do with tubes like this. Natalia. Give me your design inspiration. Throw it at us. Do you know what I would do with that? And I, I was hoping that was my challenge. I said, is that my challenge today, Laura? And she went, no. She said, you wish. <laughs> I know she did. It's not fair. So um, I would do, you know, like Black Swan. I'd do a Black Swan style tiara. Can you imagine Ooh, that? And yes. I'd just wear it to do the school run. Just because you could. Just to embarrass children. We've been oh, talking yes. about that in yeah. depth this morning. Natalia and I definitely wearing the t-shirt of embarrassing mother. Now, <laughs> you have got, we well, stranded this earlier. Actually, if I'm honest with you, all of us girlies had to get this out earlier because we love a bit of spark, especially on a Thursday of all days. Look how many you get. Look how many you get. Loads, absolutely loads. That was in our tube, wasn't it, Laura? Producer Laura in my ear. Um, she's tiny, she lives in there. Now you've got, you've got gold, 
you've got mystic and you've got i think it looks like white gold or titanium doesn't it oh yeah i do love this and actually do you agree that some of the the, the titanium could be masculine because i think it can perhaps even the gold what about skinny macrame micro macrame i always call it skinny macrame don't i micro macrame you could do that with these there's ever so at the end of tassels make it bling a swan style tiara to do the school run in alan talia coleman this is your chance to get a whole bunch of bling in a tube this is your chance to get so many so many spaces in between your black onyx let's take this black background away shall we it's drowning out my color of definitely tiaras absolutely christmas decorations as well we're all getting very excited well i say we all i'm getting very excited about christmas i'm sure you are too i'm also thinking how am i going to save up for christmas maybe you're going to create your own christmas gifts this year i definitely think it's a good idea thinking about you know making your own christmas cards making your own jewelry little gifts that you can send to loved ones that perhaps don't live near you FDG K76, create that personal gift, create jewellery, create tiaras, create fascinators and all of this, my goodness gracious me for just 6 95 don't we pay more than that for a, well in fact that's the lowest, I'm going to be really honest, that is the uber lowest price like you pay for one strand what did we think, how many strands do you reckon, but Laura and I were looking at this, so that's about one strand isn't it? two three four so it should be four times that price whatever that is i'm no mathematician there is no way you get four strands of there's no way is there for 6.95 no way this is a great bargain then isn't it fdg remember k76 is your item code brand new today and going in your baskets make sure you're checking them out before don't just leave them there you drop here absolutely anything you, you know mix them up you don't have to separate these for your craft fairs what about make and takes perhaps you could do make and takes with these anything that's pretty and sparkly put these at the base of candles you can absolutely make clusters out of these head pin clusters would be good wouldn't they or oh, seedy beads can you do a beady bead out of a rondelle. Yeah. I've never done that before. Can you? Right. With yeah. a rondelle? Yeah. How would it turn out though? Isn't it funny? I've just realised that all this time that I've been jewelry making, I've never done a beady bead out of a rondelle. They just have a more sculpted look. A more like, um, I'm trying to think of those. Kind of like a stack. Like a puzzle, you know? It yeah. That kind of look. Oh, I quite like animals. the idea of that. Yeah. Just experiment. Oh, yeah. Bubble, bubble bracelets would be good. Mm -hmm. Head pin in there bubble bracelets so i'd like to see mystic style head pins yes that would be good i think it? could we put this to lady oxbury who may or may not be on the phone right now 695 0800 644 655 if you're dining from the uk it's a free phone number we do love your company please don't forget to keep it as interactive today 60777 is our text number right gem studio followed by your message maybe you want to let us know what you're jewelry making with what do you love to see here today at jewelry maker have you used the mystic coated hematite or the gold or the titanium colour before if you have let us know how did you find it were your customers pleased with it let us know we want to know have you got a fair coming up a craft fair that you'd like to push maybe you're doing a Macmillan coffee morning tomorrow morning a lot of people are doing that I'll be baking cakes for that this evening which may or may not go well we'll see I will, of course, keep you updated of the thrilling instalments that are my cake baking. <laughs> uh, make sure you're multi-buying this. I, I've just seen quite a lot of you getting more than one, and it's a good idea, isn't it? Especially if you're thinking about really, really creating loads and loads over the Christmas period. Now, my little darlings, it's time, without further ado, to show you what's coming up in today's marvellous show. Have a look at these cashew pearls. 
texture. If you want to create anything with texture, I certainly think Keshi pearls are the way to go. They just give you that wonderful, classy look, but with texture. They're coming up, not $6.95. That is the price tag for your early bird. I do think these are going to go splendidly with your aquamarine. I've decided to use the word splendid more often hmm. because it's underused. Look at that. Aren't these beautiful? We've never seen anything like these. They're gorgeous, aren't they? And they're going under £30. Oh, aren't they pretty? Aquamarine. Oh, I've got some lovely labradoodledite for you as well. I really want a labradoodle. Have a look. I think everybody wants a labradoodle, don't they? Look at that. Look at the iridescence. Labradoodlicious. Now, I've got something. We all know that, that we all had little bets today. These are going to sell out straight away. Look, they're hand carved amethyst leaves. If you're doing millefleurie, you're going to love this. Well, in fact, if you're doing uh, needle felt, you're going to love this. We got sari silks later on at two o'clock. Have you done, Natalia? Mm. Have you had a dabble with the felt? Yes, I oh, have. Oh, aren't I they actually, wonderful? I went on a workshop to do that. About, Did you? Um, it was the Christmas before last. Yeah. And I had real fun doing it. So I've got all the gear at home. I just need to get it out and start playing. Get it out, it's wonderful. Mm. And of course, now we're doing it here at Jewelry Maker. Exactly. You can it's add it in a it. little bit of sneakily to oh, your designs. Yeah. Just start doing it, I'm just giving you permission. And now we've also got, you're going to absolutely love these. Do you know, I just love Mookite and I think this is the, just a real bohemian kind of look. Have you seen all the hairbands that the girls are wearing? Natalia, you've got a young daughter. They wear all these hairbands, like kind of hippie chick right around yeah, their heads again. Yeah. They look so pretty. Yeah. Oh, to be 16 and 17, eh? No. No, never Been again? There. Done that. Don't oh, want to go back. I'd go back. I would. Would you? Yeah, just for the youthful, just for my youthful body. My daughter said to me the other day, "It's the hardest time of my life being a teenager. Nobody realizes." And I'm like, um, "I was a teenager once." Yeah, but they don't believe us. That no, we came out they don't. <laughs> Look at these. I am in love. I am in love. Look at these golden, <laughs> genuine pearls. Oh, they're. Gorgeous! I love them. They're gonna go really nicely with your mukai. You know, I'm a bit funny about mixing pearls because I'm such a pearl snob. I'm so terrible. Like I'm a bit frightened of me. Look. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's so wintry. I want to light a fire. <laughs> I love it. Put some slippers on and light a fire. Don't you just love it? The crispy winters when you get to stay in, not when you have to go outside. Good morning, Kieran. Good morning. How are you? Uh, Work experience, students, they're not used to being up this early, are they? No, I got back late last night. He got back late last night. Yeah, I played football. Oh, you played football? Yeah. And did you win? Yeah, no. Did you score any goals? Played defence. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Were you man of the match? <laughs> it was a pretty pointless game for you, Kieran. It was pretty pointless. It was a waste of your life that last night. Now, we're going to give we're going to give Natalia her challenge. Have we given oh, you these? Yes, no, we are. Not yet. Oh, I like that. <laughs> I'm See, really excited now. Do you know? These are very different to anything we've had before. And they're very different to any challenge I've had before. I love All way colours. up. Yeah. Do you know what? If you did Sue Tash, these would be perfect. Mm -hmm. Look at this, because they're thick, look. Yeah. Aren't they lovely? They are literally glowing with colour. What colour would you call this? Because they are, they're quite powerful, but they're also quite soft at the same time. It's yeah, very confusing. Yeah, they just kind of range from powder blue through to vibrant turquoise, don't they? Laura said soft mint. Soft mint, yes. 
Yes, they, do, they have that minty fresh look about them, don't they? Yeah, uh, do you know, I think these would look very nice indeed with your silver clay pieces. I think they would. I think they look great with copper as well. I love blue and copper mm. together. Yeah, I do. You made me love blue and copper together and I now am in love with green and copper together. Mm. Rutile quartz. Now, rutile quartz is one of those gemstones I think people sometimes don't realise how wonderful it is because it just goes with everything. Don't dismiss it as just a black and white gemstone because that's not what it is at all. You have got so much texture, so much... Do you know, actually, it gives you quite a lot of inspiration because it's so arty. You could add the hematite to this because it would look wonderful and then check these out. If you want to go down a little bit more of a girly edge, maybe you're going to do some key rings or some handbag charms or something for one of the little ones at Christmas time, and they're for you. Or if you want to do something cool, like um, put these at the bottom of a, a blind, as your blind pull. I know Gemma Crow does that with gemstones. HJG C60. It's Natalia's challenge. The blue coated quartz ovals are 12 by 10 on a 20 centimetre strand. You've got your hollow flower beads at 20 mil and your retail quartz, a, a massive 570 carats, 7 by 5 to 20 by 9. So they do go quite big. Now those would be quite nice prongs set into rings. I mean, there's loads you can do, isn't there, with retail quartz. Love the way these all go together. And I can't wait to see what Natalia is going to design today. A trio of gorgeousness. So these are very slightly graduated, these ovals. Very slightly. Are they? No, they're not. I just looked at the strand and just assumed, because it was on a tassel strand, that it was graduated. But I've just looked again. And in fact, I retract that. They're not graduated. And then the little, what you could do is feed some little spacer beads, little seedy beads in between the flowers, isn't it? These do look good as rings too. I think they're kind of funky as rings, aren't they? What are you going to make out of yours? So we're going to give you a double strand, two single strands, essentially four strands, if you're being nitpicky three. Who's nitpicking though, eh? Not me. We're going to give you all of this. Three pounds thirty something a strand. Three pounds thirty two a strand. Isn't that good? Isn't that wonderful value? Should we take them over to Natalia Scalia? <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Yesterday Sarah was Sarah McKelvin. McKelvin? Is she Scottish? She was yesterday, I <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take my cup of tea with me. Let's go over to her, Natalia, because it's Thursday morning and we should just go and visit Natalia. Thank now, you. Come over to my little door. Come over to your lair. lair. Now. Oh, you've got everything all lined up. What's oh, all this yeah. going on, this eh? This is all my kit. All going this is all on. I'm preparing my demos. I'm getting organised. Oh, you are, aren't you? Now, give me some early ideas of what's going to go on well, in Natalia's creative mind. Do you know what? This is just make me happy when I look at it's these. The colour, the colour isn't is it? so beautiful, and I could see them across the room. The, the colour's beaming at me. And isn't this going to cheer up her, an outfit? And look at Jenny's dress. And she's all winter white today, aren't you? I, I wear well, that cream. cream. I'd call it winter white. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I go with winter white. Coco Chanel. Oh, I Jenny, wish. Jenny Cleary does Coco Chanel. I wish Jenny oh, Cleary did that. Lovely. We can't see. <laughs> it is a nice <laughs> colour with that, isn't it? It's gorgeous. But it's, it's like, it looks really fresh with, with light colours. There's a lot of creams, a lot of kind of very pale olive green around at the moment, which is oh, really lovely. Oh, I love, no, I love a bit of olive green. And uh, so, so they've got that retro vibe. It reminds me of, I used to have this doll called Daisy, designed by Mary Quant when I was a, a little girl. A and dog she, called Daisy? A doll. Oh, a doll. I was so say, I don't hang have, on a minute. I don't have Barbie. Mary Quant does not. I had Daisy. Okay. Well, well, look look at you to be different. With the Mary Quant doll. And she had a little flower like that. So, anyway, it just took me back. I was back now playing with my doll. And um, I love these. Um, I don't, I don't know. Um, I, I, I want to see them together. I want to inject a little bit of the blue in there. Um, I want to see these blue ones on their own in the pendant style. I'm just going to play. I'm just, just going to go off and 
cut them up and play around and have fun. See what happens. Yeah. Now I like that mix up. I'm just going to let everybody know there is a problem with our live web stream. If you are um, watching us online, it is we endeavour to get the problem fixed within the next four and a half minutes. That's very precise. Well, she told me five <laughs> minutes about 30 <laughs> seconds ago, so I thought I'd say four and a half minutes. But you know when you say things like that, people remember. It's OK, like you soon. you say, come back in 15 minutes. If you say, come back in 12 and a half minutes, people remember that. OK, crikey. Mm. All right, well, it's fixed soon. Soon, really <laughs> soon. Uh, well, I, well, I think it'll be four and a half minutes. And you know, I'm quite... Before now, isn't it? I'm not very good with maths, it's true, but I am quite good with... Telling, predicting things, yes. <laughs> it is true. I don't predict things for you all the you time, Natalia. They do. always come true. No, I can't wait to hear the next prediction. As for Ryan Josh, <laughs> there's nothing going on there today, Ryan Josh, for you. You're all right. You're going to have a calm one. Yeah. I saw lots of sets of two magpies down my way to work, so I'm Did very you? happy indeed. Is that yes. good, two magpies? <laughs> yes, I never two know. for joy. I never know. Two okay, for yeah, joy, one everybody. For sorry, two for joy, three for girl, four for boy. One for sorry, two for joy, three for girl, four for boy, five for silver, six for gold. Seven for a story that should never be told. <laughs> come on, let's go. <laughs> we should get on with some jewelry making, shall don't we? Shall we? Shall we? Come on. I'm loving, yes, I'm come loving on. all the little anecdotes and everything. Do you know what? I, I've got something that you're going to love, Natalia. Oh, really? I oh, my gosh, I didn't know you could do a suit out of this. <gasps> oh, how wonderful. Who did this? Sarah Elvin. Oh, oh, isn't she clever? She was on fire yesterday. Yeah. Is there anything Sarah Alvin can't do at the moment? The sparks flying off her when she was making that. Seriously, yeah. yesterday, wow! That's look beautiful. at this. Good grief! Look at that. Isn't isn't she wonderful? This is so different to anything we've seen. I'm, I'm excited. I love this suede cord. Isn't it wonderful? I just love it. It's such a nice medium. It smells great. It feels great. It looks great. It's, it's, it's a good, it's, I, I just love it. It does smell great, Oliver. Come and smell this. Oh, it smells great. Ryan, have a sniff of that. Tell me it doesn't smell great. Come on now, put your nose in there. Oh, it does smell great. Yes, yeah. yeah, see, now you know why I sniff it. Do you think it smells Can good? Smell? Yeah, of course. I feel like I need to, to know what Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you know, that reminds me of a shoe shop. Reminds me love, of a tap room. Don't you love it when you go in a shoe shop and it's just all the lovely shoes yeah. and they just smell so great? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's that leathery smell. We love it. Yeah, and you sure. know what? It, it's just, I love the colours here. I love the powder blue is one of my favourites. And I like to mix it with that other natural tone, that natural colour. You've got the blacks in here. Now you get, it's a buy one, get one free deal. I would grab this now. Now, I... Do you know, because I was at the dentist with my son yesterday, as you know, I uh, didn't catch last night's show. I'm, I have to, we don't have them archived. I have to see this. How did she do this? It's wonderful. Can I watch on YouTube? Are they on YouTube now, the late shows? Oh, I didn't know that. Isn't this, how did she get that to stick? I don't want to look too much, I don't want to. Isn't it wonderful? I just together, love it. Though, don't they? Amazing together. Do you know what it reminds me of? What? Aboriginal art. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can With see that. With all the swirly, yeah. swirly, swirlies. Mm. Do you know what I mean? This is a wonderful, wonderful piece of jewellery. Now, I have got for you the natural. I have got the blue. Kind of a, kind of a baby blue. No, that's the grey. Here's the baby blue. Then you've got pink. Ac oh, this is going to be good with your challenge. Yes, can I have them? Absolutely, you can have it, whether Laura likes it or not. Aqua, she can. Come and fight me then, Laura. Then <laughs> <laughs> Actually, don't. Look at this. She's got her animal prints on today, Laura, so she'd be feisty. So I wouldn't pick a fight today. Ah, she's not to pick with me. Have a look. She's a not, we're lovers, not fighters. She said you can have it. Well, she didn't actually say that in so many words. She only wants this colour. Well, actually, I wouldn't mind a grey as well. There is, there's a chance you can have all of them. All of these times two you get because it's a buy one, get one free deal. Look at all these colours. Listen, if you've never used it before, if you're using your felt, 
perfect. If you're doing big feature project pieces, whether it's a big polymer clay uh, pendant, whether it's a wire work pendant, whether it's soutache, this is perfect. Isn't this wonderful? I love the way we're adding all those swirly whirlies into our designs now. If you are inspired by what Sarah Elvin created last night, and I know that I am, I love that. I mean, imagine you don't have to wear this as jewelry. You can sew it into clothing. This could be a brooch. It's wonderful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. It would look great on a handbag. I love this design. Go and have a little Google of Aboriginal art and look at all of these wonderful wavy patterns they do. And the, it, it, I, it, me is studying it at school at the moment, so we've been really mm. looking into it. It's fabulous. Fabulous, it's wonderful how we can be inspired by designs, ancient paintings and things like that. I just think this does look very Aboriginal. This is a gorgeous medium. And my goodness gracious me, a metre of each, you've got 100 metres of suede. 100 metres, hang on, 200 metres, because you get that times two. <gasps> Oh, 10 metres a pack. Sorry, 20 metres then. Right. No, because it says 10 times 1 metre. Yeah, that's 20. Right, right. Sorry, sorry. I was getting it around the other way. Yeah. I really aren't good at... I really aren't good at maths. <laughs> or grammar, apparently. Right, 10 metres a pack. 20 metres in total. I was going to say... I was getting very excited then. I was just going to text my mum and say... I'm, you'd be, you're going to text your mum anyway when you see this price tag. Really? Are you ready? These are fab fantabulous. I think, I think that's a good price to you. How much do you pay for a pair of shoelaces, for crying out loud? Six ninety five. Look at all of these. Oh, no, I'm just thinking. This is what I'm thinking, because you actually can get these suede cords as some... Um, yeah. In, in the lace shops, and they're like, they're so expensive because they're suede. You can do fringing with suede as well that looks incredible. I love the, have you seen the fringe necklaces that are being made? I'm not sure how you would attach it to the necklace. Oh, on one of those little coil things. 6.95 is your price tag. And again, I've got to say, I've got to say, you, you must have the, and again, I just, the way Sarah's plaited this is excellent. Really, really is. Just a friendship bracelet, anything like this. Loads of you on the phone lines. If you didn't catch Sarah's, I didn't catch the show last night. I'm gutted because look at this. I wish I knew how to create it. Apparently, it's going to be on, on YouTube. If not, Sarah Alvin, we would like to know exactly how you did this, please, my darling. 6 95 Sarah is good like that. Look, Oliver's just saying, Sarah's great. She puts step-by-step -step things on Facebook. She does, you're right. She is great. 6 95 Now, is Natalia allowed a bag of these? I've got them already. Oh, hey, hey you don't waste any time, Cassie, do you? Cassie has indulged me already. She's How leaped lovely. over with them. And I grabbed them and ran. Good girl. Good girl. You grab and run. Now. Hang on. I didn't show you these gorgeous little earrings that were hiding. Oh. Oh, aren't they sweet? I love that pink. Aren't those sweet? Isn't that lovely? What a good mm. idea as well. Just those end clasps, clasps from the ribbon cord endings. I like the little donuts. She's used the little donuts from the kits. Oh, I do think that's great. <gasps> Can you imagine? Sarah you was uber, uber creative yesterday. But you know all your bead soup that you've got? All these random beads. Yeah. You can find a pair of everything. You could make tons of earrings. You could. Loads of little clusters at the bottom. Yeah. I do like these a lot. Wonderful. Really brilliant. Now, let's give to you, without further ado. If you're thinking about getting the gold pearls later on, I have got for you It's kind of lemon meringue pie. What's this bundle called? 
Lemon love. Lemon love. I do love a lemon. Especially in tea. Now. If you're thinking about getting these gorgeous pearls, I think these are kind of a golden peach. Now have a look, I'm just going to show you the difference between the pearls I got later on and these pearls. They're both gorgeous, but you can tell the difference between a potato pearl and a perfect round pearl, can't you? See, these are potato pearls, kind of random shapes and sizes. Not majorly potato, but they are. You see, you've got randomness there. Now these are all really perfect. If you're thinking about getting these, I'd absolutely get this trio to go with. You have got your peach Baroque pearls that are nine by eight. Lemon quartz, plain rounds at four mil. These are, again, I don't want to, I don't want to bore you too much with Sutash, 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 but when we see lovely little plain rounds like that, we know that they would be wonderful for Sutash. They're also great for other mediums like your beading projects. Of course, the plain round will always be, I, and I say this often, your best friend in jewelry making because it starts you off on the road to jewelry making. It starts you off on your first stretch. It's always a round, isn't it, that we tend to use. Well, I know most people do. Uh, when you first do a beady bead, when you first do your ladder weave, it's with a round gemstone, is it not? Maybe you were watching the, um, yesterday with the bead loom and you're thinking about getting the perfect gemstones. Those little lemon quartz rounds at four mil would be perfect and they do have wonderful clarity don't they they do really zesty and then you've got this lovely this is the one that reminds me of lemon meringue pie kind of creamy and gorgeous lemon tones oh i do love a lemon meringue pie or a cheesecake and because it's shell you get this lovely pearlescence have a look This, this, now Laura's just made a, a very valid point. Laura's making next spring's weddings. Of course, brides, they tend to get in there really early. There's a lot of planning, I've heard, um, that goes into weddings. And so, now Laura's creating her spring wedding pieces. So this is perfect for a spring wedding. Perfect for those bridesmaids. Is yellow a very popular, is, is, is yellow a very popular color for bridesmaids? Yes, says Laura. Lemon yellows. Yeah, do you know my favourite flowers in the whole world are yellow roses? Yeah, I love them. Limoncello. Oh, I love a bit of limoncello. Wow. And do you know what? Oliver's just saying and telling us a nice story in his ear. So that reminds me of limoncello. My brother got married in Italy where they grow the lemons for limoncello. They said it was amazing. Ravello. The Amalfi Coast, and that is reminding. Oh, isn't that nice? Mm -hmm. That sounds lovely, Oliver. Take us there in our minds, please. Have a look. <laughs> Oliver's on the uh, make believe flight with jewelry maker jet. We should have our own private jet. GJG C21. Your peach pearls, nine by eight. Lemon quartz. Four mil and your golden nacre shell eight mil this trio going at under four pounds a strand I think we like that price wouldn't you pay that you'd pay that for pearls you would well you'd pay more more than that for pearls it's gone low stock already. You are absolutely loving this world. It's so lovely to have you on board with us today at Jewelry Maker. Please don't forget to get interactive with us. We love, love, love hearing from you. Let us know. Perhaps you've got a question for Natalia. We do have Natalia's masterclass coming up later on with the sari silks and the metal clays. Maybe you've got another kind of question for Natalia. Maybe you want to let us know of a a coffee morning where you're selling jewellery or somewhere where you're selling jewellery and you'd like everybody to know about it and perhaps if they're in the area to come along 60777 JM Studio followed by your message 11.95 here's the deets 11.95 for gorgeousness 
now. Without further ado. I love this. I love these earring findings. You're not going to get over the price tag for these because we don't see findings like this. In fact, we had these on their own. They're quite an expensive finding. Very intricate detailing, as you can see. Swirly whirly design in the middle. Very popular right now. Swirly whirly. Do you know, I'm just looking at these. It's like, is it a tree? Or is it a peacock in the middle? It could be a bit peacocky, but it does look like a tree. Well, it's very detailed, isn't it? What I love are the little dangles. You do get that professional finish to your jewellery. And you know what, it's findings like this. Isn't it findings like this that, that are jeweller's findings? If you were shopping with us a couple of years ago, we wouldn't have been able to give you things like this. We just didn't have the, the resources that we do now. Luckily for us, Hannah Roxbury doesn't sleep. She's not allowed. There's no time for sleep, Oxbury. There's no time. Um, it, and also, I would like to see Hannah Oxbury, if you're watching, which I'm pretty sure you are, mystic coated findings. You know I like to make your life difficult, Lady O. Now, I want to just tell you something as well, um, because we've got a little bit of a secret we've been keeping here at Jewelry Maker, which is important. We've got Spellbinder coming for you on Saturday morning. If you've been looking for that die cutting machine, we've got it for you. Unbelievable. We'll give you the details for that in the break. So with Vicky Carr, that is on Saturday, you need, have you ever seen that, Natalia? I have, yes, it's brilliant. Now, there are lots of findings of this kit. Would you like to see the gemstones that you get with Romantica? Have a look at these. Now this shell, this shell takes me back to when I used to go to the beach with my mum when I was little. These kind of bracelets are the, and necklaces like this are the ones you would wear. And they would always have that um, screw. You know how you would screw it on to make it that finding? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, we had one of those. We, I, I used to buy these all the time when I was little, so it's kind of, I like this, it makes me smile. Very beachy, isn't it? And then we've got the blues. I just adore the, I love, you know, blue is statistically the world's favorite color, they say. And then you've got the sodalite, so you've got the blue quartz and you've got two strands of sodalite. You've got, I want to say that these are kind of rectangles, and then you've got the rounds again they'd be good for soutache again great for different mediums and you know what I've also got for you your beading materials don't forget you had those two wonderful findings a lot of sterling silver and those are solid sterling silver those are expensive findings you get two of those of course so if I'm to give you this kit for, what do you reckon? Well, I think I know, 21.95, yeah? Is it more expensive? You've got 198 findings with this kit as well, by the way, and they're in silver color. You've got a meter of chain. Don't forget you get everything. So it's a great first purchase for us here at Jewelry Maker because you've got everything as soon as you get home. All you need is your toolkit, 9.95. We'll give you the details for that in a tickle, but you can still get creative straight away by making stretchy bracelets and things. Are you ready? So what is it then? 19.95 for this kit, 0800, 17.95. Yeah, it is as well. <laughs> with the with these. Your little nana cake. 17.95. She's crazy. Should we go and have a look at, at what the gorgeous Natalia has made? Natalia, Sawalia, I'm going to steal those earrings. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, do you know, Natalia, those little earring findings, they've just made a huge difference to your, your design. So these oh, earrings yes. suddenly look very, very expensive. Let's go and check out Natalia's gorgeous designs. Have a look really at these. Love I them. love them. When oh. I saw them, I opened the bag and I just thought, I love it when you get a little surprise when the kits have these extras oh, in. Oh, yes. 
and they're so beautiful I mean they are on their own just beautiful and then you just add those little faceted gemstones and it just gives them that pop and it just makes it so classy and gorgeous these are the exact kind of earrings I would see and buy I yeah. love them and they're so it's all this detail up, right? yes yeah. They look really expensive. They yeah. really do. They're kind of Tiffany lamp -esque. Yes, they are very much like that Art Deco, Art Nouveau kind of look. And um, you can have them facing either way oh. because you've got those little um, chandelier type things hanging and they're, they're bent in the middle. So when they're convex or concave and they catch the light really beautifully. Are depending they? On which oh, oh the little dangles you yeah, mean? Yeah, the little, yeah. little um, bits hanging off. I don't know what kind of the teardrops that Ding, they are. Dingle yeah. dangles. Yeah. Just like, you know, the live feed. Was it four and a half minutes? I don't know, but it, it was four and a half back. minutes, was it? Are we back <laughs> online? Told you. <ya. laughs> uh, four and a half minutes and we were ready to rock. We're back online. So, you have done a three strand weave with the shell. Love yeah. that. Does it remind you of beach holidays? It does. It reminds me of beach huts. It's all kind of, and you know, um, rock pink and white rock mm, that we I still love. I haven't had a piece of rock for ages. I know, but it takes your teeth out, doesn't it? Yeah. You've got to be careful with that stuff. It's all right when you've got milk too. <laughs> yes, it is. So you don't care about that when you're about five, do no, you? No, the more the better. Yeah. But is it really cute? Got sugary kind of colours. Lovely, those. Aren't they just? Mm. Aren't they just? I love Soda Light. I do too because it's that lovely denim blue. Actually, Debbie mm. Bolford made me fall in love with Soda Light. Yeah. I think it's nice to try a different gemstone that you haven't mm -hmm. tried before mm -hmm. and, and realise how much you love it. Mm. And, and I do do that a lot because I think I get stuck. I don't know if, if you're the same. You get stuck with your favourites. Yeah. But you've got to just yeah. let something else in sometimes. A variety yeah, is the spice of life. And you know say. what I always say about colours is because when you're wearing clothes, it's quite dominant. So if it doesn't suit your colouring, it can drain you. Whereas yeah. in jewellery, you can wear these muted tones. If you know, if mm -hmm. you need a vibrant colour, you can go for the muted tones in the jewellery. Absolutely. And actually, it's a way to experiment with colour mixing, mm -hmm. isn't it, in your outfits, if you're yeah, not very definitely. confident. You know, because all these nude tones that are out there, I'm not confident to wear a no. nude all no. over. No. I look a bit... A bit kind of grey and yeah, well nude, yeah. Yeah, it's all right <laughs> if you're really dark. I you don't know, think if you're it gorgeous, is, like really. that Italian, yeah, Naomi Campbell think. kind of. Yeah, she can get away with it, but I think yeah, all that all kind of Italianish looking, you know, mm. dark hair, mm -hmm. olive skin, that looks mm -hmm. good. Nancy Dell'Olio. Who's she? She was on Strictly Come Dancing. <coughs> she used to go out with Sven Joran Eriksson. Oh yes, I know you means. Yeah, we had to say was yeah. Uh, if you want really to know tall. about popular yeah. culture, I'm your woman. <laughs> I'm going to pick your brain. So. <laughs> yes, I can tell you about lots of useless stuff. <laughs> I can tell you about jewellery making as She's, well. You should do a feature of jewellery maker <laughs> gossip. Yes, you should have yeah. a little column, a little roundup of who's We'd wearing like what. We'd like that in the JM Hub magazine, please. We'd yeah. like gossip around the building. Actually, there's a little mini plug for my JM um, Facebook guest designer page because all I do is I look around for images of stars wearing really I great jewellery. you did it the other so day. So I'm popping lots of pictures on there and it's, it's really good, you know, because it's kind of a real good mix of different things, not just my taste, things that, you know, might yeah. inspire you. So have a look. Yeah, I do know, I have been. You put a p lovely picture of somebody, somebody's outfit on the other day. Yeah. Right. And that's a Yes, okay. that's it. You're going to give I'm us, going to give us little, a demonstration. A little kite made with soda light. That rhymed. A little kite made, made of soda, soda light. light. <laughs> I don't know why everything's in song today. It just <laughs> it's is. A, it's just that it kind is. of day, isn't it? It is, it is. Okay, so for this, it's really simple, uh, but, but quite effective. Um, so what we, we're using is the eye pins and I'm um, just threading on four soda light. So we need four of the eye pins and four soda light on each eye pin, which I'll do. Um, putting those on there. And then all you do is simply, the, the four soda light fit on perfectly to give you just enough at the end of your, your eye pin to create a little loop. So just bend it over into a right angle and just right at the end of your, your pliers, your round nose pliers, just um, turn the loop and then you have well, it's like a little barrette there with, with a loop on either end. And so you're going to do that four times with the soda light. And, um, and these are, what's really nice about these soda light is that they're, um, they're kind of potato shapes in a way. I don't know, can you get 
potato shapes in soda light. Well, they look like that to me. I thought that. Do you know what? The, the squashy kind of organic. I couldn't decide whether they were ovals or rectangles. Mm. So maybe they're squotangles. Squotangles. That's a good. That's what they are. A good expression. Squotangles. So, um, but but they just add to the interest of the piece. I've got some dodgy pliers here. They get well used these pliers in the studio because they've got people like Sarah Elvin, you know, cooking up a storm with their jewellery and uh, and uh, making them a, a bit wonky. So, um, but yes, it, it just makes the the whole piece look more interesting. Little dimensions coming off them. Mm. Um, I'll just thread another another set of four on, and then um, what I'll do is I'll show you how to connect them all together because it is really simple. There we go. We have to do it almost leaning back here yes, at Dora Mega so that we're do. not bringing our blondy heads in the I'm way. I'm showing my roots that need touching up as well. I don't know what you mean, you're a natural blonde. Everybody gets I know it's not that, it's the grey. Because I'm so wise. Do you know what? Uh, Gemma Crow <laughs> wants white hair. She can't wait for her hair she to wants turn white silvery white. She can white. have mine. There's plenty oh, of it. I thought she's mad. Okay, so. Um, what you're going to do then is going to connect these together. So um, just taking flat nose pliers and lifting the edge of your um, eye pin up. So turning it upwards rather than pulling it outwards and then connecting them together. Um, and this just hangs really nicely. I was, I was wondering how it would sit, you know, whether it would actually keep its little kite shape, mm -hmm. but it does, it, it sits beautifully. Well, you've got the solidarity there of the your um, double eye pin, haven't you? The solidarity, I like that. Solidarity. You're very wordy today, aren't you? Well, I've been reading a lot. Yeah. Have you? Yeah. You've been musing by the fire. I can imagine you with yeah. a pipe, you know, <laughs> being philosophical. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm not good. You know what? I'm, what, I'm, what I'm without a beard. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What yeah. I did in my original design, I have a confession to make. So I used the, the mini mini soda light, the, the the smaller rounds. But we can't see it. Oh, can't you are. see it? Sorry about can't that. Can't see it. But I lost my strand, my uncut strand. I don't know what I did with it. Oh, so. oh, but fine. So I've just, I've you, improvised. Oh, you've lost pot. today's strand. Yes, all right. today's strand. Okay. Because obviously I used them all up in my design. Yes. So I'm going to use. This is a, a variation on the original design. Why but it not? Still works, Why it still not? Works pretty good. So I've, I've put, because the, the, um, the blue quartz were, were um, slightly graduated mm -hmm. in size, which again, you get to discover these things when you're threading them and you go, oh, that one's Ooh, a little bit smaller than yeah, the other. Yeah, you can do a little gradual taper then, can't you? Well, you could do a taper, or I've just mm. used all of the small ones. Similar on here. ones, yeah. yeah. And then I'm just going to turn over my, my loop again at the end, Thank leaving a little bit of space. And um, Cassie brought me a lovely new toolkit with some lovely pliers, so I'm going to get that out for my next demo, I think. I'll treat myself to a new pair of pliers. She's good, she's good, that cat. She's, she's like, um, you know, on um, one of these American medical programs where you have this assistant that's coming in and doing all these doing wonderful all the, things. Yeah. She's just like that. She is kind of like that. She's amazing. So um, then what I'm going to do is, before I connect everything up, just to make your life easier, it's best to put your little barrette across the middle, and that gives strength to the design. So uh, lifting the... Uh, the eye up on one side and then mm -hmm. popping that in. Okay. And then you see it's going to all start to fit together. So I'm going to lift the opposite eye up and then connect it to the end of mm. one of my my little soda light ones. Uh -huh. Um, and that is literally all, all there is. And then you just do the other one on that side in the exact same manner. And then when you've got them connected, you'll see on, on my original design here, one of the, the eye pins stands up taller than uh, the other. Yes, yes. So you can add um, a jump ring okay, to perfect. connect your, your um, chain, or if you wanted to put some beading thread through there, you can do as well. How lovely. And I love the tassels as well from this. Yeah. Really beautiful kit. I'm just in love with them with these earrings. They use £17.95. 
As always, one of two ways in which you can come and grab yours. On the phone lines, it's a free phone number if you're dialing from the UK, 0800 644 or you can get involved online. It's jewelrymaker.com. Whatever you create, we'd love to see your designs. Please take a picky and send them to studio at jewelrymaker.com. If you'd like to see other people's designs, that's exactly where we're going to go right now to the Wall of Fame. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> Making owl noises. Sorry. I got woken up by the owl, and there's a, I've got this little woodland opposite my house, and there's this owl, and he's so loud. Oh, at the I love moment. it. I love that sound. I'm saying it's a he. I don't know if it's a he or it. It probably she. is. <laughs> yeah, calling, loud, loud calling. Boy. <laughs> so, and speaking of owls, we weren't just randomly talking about owls, no, were we? Although we, there are quite a lot of random things that go on. That wasn't. But too we random. had a reason because we mm. have one seven nine, and we have this gorgeous owl who has a little personality. Love I love the stars, and I love. Oh, I oh, love yes, look. We've got, yeah. we've got, and, I love and this it. is like starry night, mm. and then the owl, and how beautiful. Yeah, do you know what? That works really well it for does. me. Is it's it you? I love it's all that. working, isn't it? So let's yes. find out who this is from. And this is from Dawn Howell, and she says, um, "Hi, JM family." We, we are, are family. family. Let's do karaoke. <laughs> that was very tuneful, not me, you. Well, um, <laughs> I think we were harmonising. Yeah, we it were. It was a team that effort. Was, that was intentional. That was going at a different time. Practising that for days. <laughs> <laughs> this is the jewellery set I made for my daughter Lucy's birthday. Happy Mr. birthday, Lucy. Mr. Owl, you see, he is a boy. Yeah. Um, Mr. Owl with stars in the night sky. Of course, it's made from everything JM and influenced by the wonderful Gemma Crow DVD. And she is wonderful. She's yeah. next door at the moment. She's next she? door. She never leaves. She lives here now. In. She's popping she in. She lives here. She'll come in later. My next project is a heart pendant from the same DVD, my future daughter-in-law's birthday. <gasps> oh, it's all going on. Birthday for Lucy and... I know. And Can you imagine having, having, having a mother-in-law that makes you owls Crikey. and lovely things like that? Can't imagine having a mother-in-law. <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> thanks for all your great tutorials especially the master classes love Diane Howell and thank you Diane that is gorgeous Dawn Howell yeah oh, I thought you said Diane no I said Dawn oh, it's my sorry. accent my oh. kind of Yorkshire twang oh, Dawn Dawn yeah it's very flat that didn't sound like flat that. Vowels. I suppose it is did you think it sounded like Diane yes yeah, no, it's just me <laughs> tell, tell us. it's me and my country ears <laughs> I can't hear anything. <laughs> it's all yeah. the wind that goes yeah. in and the neighing. Turn your trumpet up, you're your trumpet. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I love it when old people do that. <laughs> my grand used to be like, what? My mother is like that. She's not yeah. old. She's kind of, what? But what if I said know? what to my grand, she'd have gone, it's pardon. <laughs> like, but you say it to me. Anyway, <laughs> pearls or, oh. hey. Do you That's know what? Gorgeous. We've had quite a lot of... Oh, I love all this sparkle. Mm -hmm. Number 182 is from Morag in uh, Kirkaldy in Scotland. Sorry about that, Morag. Uh, hi, everyone. I was uh, going to read this whole thing in a Scottish accent, but I can't hold it for too long. <laughs> uh, this is my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. It's a bracelet with matching earrings made with pearls and hematite using the Chinese knotting technique. Do you know, I really like that technique. Mm, I've yes, seen it and I do like it. I can't do it yet. Uh, this is my first attempt at this technique, so I hope it looks right. I love the finish look. It's so vintage, especially with the antique bronze findings. I love it too. And do you know what? I love the randomness of the shape yeah. and size of the pearls. Thanks again for being all the inspiration. Hope for a win soon as my bank balance has been taking a serious hit. Much love and hugs from Morag. I love the I love that Morag. Mm. It's classic but contemporary at the same it's time. Lovely. It's so very Downton Abbey. Mm. We're always saying that, so aren't we? But that is well, very I Downton love Downton. I love a bit of Downton. Mm. And this one, it's so well put together. This Ooh. is um, 180. Hundred and eighty. <laughs> I've got a rubber bully, and the, <laughs> my dad's really good friends with Jim Bowen. I used to love that. Yeah, so. you, you know the big. My dad did all of that. Did he? Yeah, oh, very good. Yeah. We so, won't. We won't go into all of this. He's a nice little, man. Yeah, he's he's funny, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, he's, he's lovely. Funny. Anyway, one hundred and eighty is. This it's so beautifully laid out, and the serendipity oh, is this, jewelry. Is this some um, memory work? We had serendipity yesterday. But is this the bead scoop? It looks like it, it does look it? like one, doesn't it? Memory mm. wire bracelet shot from lots of arty angles. 
and this is from Angela Finch and she says um, this week's wall of aim wall of aim wall of fame is <laughs> aim I'm thinking of darts <laughs> <Ew. laughs> and Natalia's special points <laughs> <laughs> it's a mixed chip memory wire bracelet, all from JM. I just put all my odd chips into a bag and picked them out at random. I'm really pleased with how it turned out. What a fantastic idea. That's a really idea. good idea, like a lucky dip. Yes, and Angela, mm. and you can buy all of Angela's jewellery on all the different um, online shops here. So uh, so check her out. I bet she's, oh, she's on it, seeing all she's of that kind Foxy, of Etsy, malarkey. She's on Foxy, Facebook. But um, what, a, what a lovely tip, so thank you for that, Angela. Thank you, Angela. That is, do you know, look at this. Isn't it wonderful? Oh, I love beautiful. these coloured jump rings. And do you know what really sets this off? Mm -hmm. Is the charm. Yes, definitely. Now it looks so professional. It's got something for your eye to rest once it's done the whole circuit of the necklace. I love it? this. I think it's wonderful. I wonder if she's done that herself out of silver clay. Let's have a look. Number 183. Zoe from Bath. Bath is beautiful. Mm -hmm. So, Zoe, you've got lots of lovely inspiration. Uh, this is a Byzantine necklace for my daughter. Lucky her. Uh, all jump rings and are JM and clasp. The charm is from my stash. Zoe, get yourself doing silver clay. If you love using charms like that, you can personalise them. Um, loving the show. Thank you so much for all the inspiration. Many thanks. Zoe from beautiful Bath. Zoe, if you can do chain mail, you can do silver clay because it's a double oh. compared to chain mail. Yes, it is. And I'll back, well, if I can do it, you can do it, Zoe. Yeah, well, if I can do it, mm, enough said. Anyway, so this is 181. And Bubble. this is a very, yeah, bubbly, mm. fruity, gorgeous necklace and earring yeah. set here. And this is from the lovely Pamela Constant. Constantinou, what a lovely name, in Colchester. What's it, what is it? Constantinou. Oh, very Italiano. I think it's Greek, actually. Constantinia. Yeah, it's kind of Greek. Is it? Is yeah. it? I think so, anyway. I don't know. Maybe you can text Well, it's exotic, it, it? it's, it's exotic, isn't it? It's exotic. It's more exotic than Coleman, anyway. And, and Cleary. <laughs> and Cleary. Cleary. She says, morning, JM. People, we were family before, now we're people. I am everyday JM people. <laughs> I'm sitting at home now, waiting for the post to arrive with a huge JM stash. Isn't that exciting when, that, when you're waiting for Yes. That? I was able to order with my £100 win from Woo! last week. And after getting married and having <gasps> my amazing kids, this was one of my most thrilling moments. You see, hey! your life just gets better when you watch Jewelry Maker, doesn't it? Oh. You get married, you have kids, and then you win on the wall of fame. So anyway, hope you like this necklace and earring set made using JM Multicolor Agate. Love, Pamela. Const I wonder if she was born a Constantine or she married a Constantine. Anyway, she, she did good with the surname, didn't she? Yeah, good like, surname, Pamela. I'm a bit jealous. And well done on your win. And beautiful, beautiful um, pieces from that. Now, right now, it's time to give to you. Well, actually, I'm just going to give you a little sneaky peek. I want to do them now, but we're not doing them now. We're going to give you a little sneaky peek of our amethyst. <gasps> they are hand carved. When are we doing this, Laura? I want to do it now. We're going to do it after the break. Not yet. But it is gorgeous, isn't it? Now, I've also got for you those huge gold pearls. I've got. Done. I'll just give you a quick look at the pearls because I love them so much. I'm just waiting for our Ray Ray. Yeah, right there, Ray, and if you get yourself started. All right, come on now. You're dressed as where's Wally today, and I like it. I'm going to get you a little bobble hat to be matching. Aren't they gorgeous? Now, my little darlings, I'm going to give to you. Let's see, shall we? Let's see. Let's do, Laura. I am feeling a little bit glammed. I, I feel like we need to be glammed today. I am absolutely in love with these. So Yes, I'm so glad because I've tried to get these in my show on their own and they're only in a bundle and I couldn't get them. Look at these, they're perfect. I want to bead loom these. I love them. Don't you think these are ace? Can you see them? I'm not sure if you can see them as brilliantly as... Look, look, little sea beads of hematite two double strands of hematite nuggets when we bought these in they sold out mark smith had been trying for months to get us to get these they're in they're in stock now get on the phone lines you don't want to miss out and you've also got the copper colored barrels i love this bundle it's for bling it's for christmas time it's for glamorous jewelry two double strands of hematite little teeny weeny multicolored hematite seed beads and the copper colored 
barrels. Get yourself on the phone lines. All of this, this is crazy by the way, for just, now do you know 8.95 is ridiculously low. That's just over two pounds, what, two pounds? Two pounds 20 something per strand. And two of these are double strands. I know this is gonna sell out. You've got to be quick, we don't have loads. Do you remember how long it took us to get hematite nuggets like this in? Mark have been badgering and badgering and pestering and pestering. They're here, they're now. However, this bundle is approaching limited. It's called Metallic Hot. Make sure you check out baskets if you're shopping on jewelrymaker.com. These gorgeous strands will be with you at a crazy low price tag in just a couple of days with a 30 day no questions asked money back guarantee. Oh my word, there are so many of you multi buying. This really is an excellent deal. Goodness me. After the break, I'm going to give to you those wonderful amethyst leaves. Wow. I've just got to let you know, before we go to break, sorry, I've just got to make it very clear that our queues on the phone lines. If you're ringing from a UK landline, it's a free phone number. Stay where you are. We will be right back with those amethysts. Join clay expert Natalia Coleman and enter the world of metal clay. This introductory DVD will guide you through the process of using copper and bronze clay and is packed full of designs, hints, tips and demonstrations. Learn how to create earrings and pendants using textured stamps and learn how to fire your designs. To get your hands on a copy, contact our call centre on 0800 6444 655. Here at the Genuine Gemstone Company, we are happy to announce that our studio store is now open. If you attend any of our courses, you can now browse through special items, get exclusive discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Become an exclusive customer at the studio store. For more information on available courses and dates, please contact our call centre. The new studio store. The experience just got better. Join jewellery maker and specialist guest designer Debbie Bulford for a fun and relaxing day discovering the addictive appeal of chainmail. This workshop is ideal for beginners and will introduce the fundamentals of this art form. You will be guided through a range of beginner's weaves and learn how to create your own Byzantine bracelet and earring set. The full course includes a pack of 200 jump rings, a toggle clasp, a pair of shepherd hook earrings, the chainmail tutorial DVD, use of all relevant tools, a buffet style lunch and refreshments, a tour of the studio and a chance to meet the presenters, and take a visit to our gem museum. All this for just $74.95. For more information contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker, bringing out the designer in you. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to put towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Amethyst is a gem which you can get in so many different colours, so many different shades, so many different clarities. And at Jewelry Maker, we're lucky enough to have pretty much every single um, imaginable example of amethyst, whether it's natural Coloma Mine Zambian amethyst, or whether it's going to be really highly prized lavender amethyst. And it's a gem so much people have heard of. It's a household name. It's a gem so with so much heritage, and it's worn by people of all ages, of, from all classes of society. And it's a fantastic gem to own.
the gorgeous Carol there telling us all about her passion for this wonderful gemstone that is amethyst. Now, these amethysts, as you can see, have been expertly faceted by hand, adding that attention to detail. If you love to create floral designs, this is your strand. Perhaps you've been inspired by Gemma Crow and her amazing posy made out of wire. You want those little embellishments of leaves, then this is your strand. If you like to create things such as brooches, this is your strand. What about earrings with the suede cord and a feather? Very boho. This is your strand. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Can you imagine how long it takes as that lapidus to take one piece of amethyst and carve it very precisely into a leaf and not just once so you're going to repeat that one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen times for just one strand that takes a lot of work bunch these together put them with your miller flory with sari silks absolutely with your needle felt you're gonna absolutely adore these leaf beads are you going to use them separately are you going to use them in one piece are these charms on an overhead style necklace bit of antique bronze chain perhaps make it really funky or keep it classic keep it floral maybe it's going to be a table centerpiece we talk a lot about embellishing candles and things like that don't we Now, if you want to create wirework pieces and you want to add embellishments like these leaves, have a look at the wonderful Rachel Norris, who is an absolute inspiration to us all. Just putting a few of these together, with just continuing that leaf effect. Now, Natalia, I know you make impressions out of gemstones like this, for your silver clay. Mm. Could you make a silver clay impression and intersperse silver clay leaves with these leaves? Would that look good? Yeah, you could. You could absolutely. You could use the moulding putty and you could um, create a mould and then cast um, a leaf from the silver clay. It would be slightly smaller because it shrinks about 8%. But that would be quite a nice touch, you know, with varying sizes. Yes. You'd also do it with copper would look good as well, wouldn't any, it? Any, actually any precious metal clay. Any precious metal clay, Absolutely. yeah, you can do it. Do you know, I just do adore these soft tones together. I think these would look wonderful in so many different designs. I do particularly think if you bought the suede bundle, they're gonna look excellent with that. And I, I, and I know that if you use your polymer clay, you're gonna just love adding these little flowers. It would be great with resin flowers and things like that as well. Um, so jewel enamel flowers and things like that as well. I, ju I just think this is a, a real excellent strand. A very different strand to anything we've seen as well. A very limited strand as far as brand new strands go as well. Now you're all going to want this. You love amethyst. It's one of our biggest sellers next to Labradorite is amethyst. I think it's very inoffensive, isn't it? to any skin tone is uh, purple and they do say that purple is the color of creativity amethyst as we know is a birth gemstone february's birth gemstone and of course associations with tranquility go hand in hand loads and loads of myth and ledge now natalia what would you be happy to pay for a strand like this oh well because they're carved and and because it's a really beautiful quality of amethyst um, I would say up to £20. Up to £20? Mm -hmm. Well, you're shopping at Jewellery Maker, so we're going to offer you a much better price tag than that. We're going to take these under £15, in fact. And I think you're right. I think if these are the exact kind... So you, do you know when you see things, you think, that's what I need for that project? Yeah. Are you at home doing that right now? Has that light bulb gone ding? That's what you need for that project. Already on the website, 150 of these are gone. Well, Laura, without further ado, let's let anybody shopping on the phone have the price tag. You meanie. 
She said under 15 pounds and she weren't meaning buy a little bit. 895. Goodness me, 895. Now, I think Laura, you've gone. I think it's amazing value. Yes. Would you multi buy? Because I would. Would you, Natalia? 895. Oh, definitely. You were, you were yeah. accepting 20 pounds for one strand, so I'm thinking you're going to buy a couple of these strands. Yeah, then. if that's if that's the price. Eight, nine, five. I think there was 13. Let me try. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh no! 13, 14, 15, 16. 16. I've got I've got no really short term memory. If you did something yesterday, I'll remember it. Is that 55p a gemstone? Is it? Of course I didn't work that out myself. Of course not. And if I did, you should question it because I can't do no <laughs> mathematics. Have a look. It's the, it's the hand carving though, isn't it? It's the hand carving that makes these really special. Wow, I love. Do you know what I love? Do you know, can you see how deep these are? And then you've got that lovely lavender. I love lavender. Just so I thought I'd put that out there for you. Lavender is beautiful. We've got these lavender fields by us in Hertfordshire. And it's one of the most beautiful places ever. 8.95. Now. I think, Laura, we should give everybody. I think I've got some lovely purples in here. And if you don't mind, Laura and Droglia, I'm going to get these out. Androglia. She comes out of here when the brakes goes, Jenny Cleary. <laughs> like we're at school. Uh, excuse me, Jenny Cleary. Have a look. Oh, do you know what? Isn't this is this different to the ones we've had before? What are we calling it? Is this just normal nylon thread? Not nylon thread. This isn't a satin cord. Because satin is the really shiny one, isn't it? Have a look. Do you see what I mean? Let me see. And then you've got, now look at these, look at these. They are absolutely beautiful. Look at these gorgeous, gorgeous drops. Don't you just love them? I love them. Let's squidge them back down. Go on down. Who's taken one from there? Someone naughty. Someone naughty has restranded this. Look at that. The mystery. Those pesky, those pesky other shift. Have a look. And then you've got the rounds. Oh, I do like this. Have you seen this cord? What are you calling that? Is it satin cord? What do you think it is? Let me have a look. It's not like really shiny like our normal satin cord. Oh, it's like nylon cord. It I is think. nylon cord, yeah. this one. Yeah. I, I love this. It's do you beautiful. know what this is better for me, for Kumahimo? Yes, and it's textured, so yeah. it's just easier to work with, isn't it? I and really like this. Kumahimo, this is going to be mm -hmm. really great for. Gorgeous. The clarity of these, of these amethysts is outstanding in these pairs. Now, it's not often we get depth like this and colour like that. Now, have you ever seen really expensive amethyst in the high-end jewellers with rose gold? Does this remind you of that kind of quality? Because it does for me. You can't quite see the clarity there on that um, Lazy Susan, you know. To look at this clarity and definitely think about mixing these with... Look, do you see what I mean? I mean, that is so expensive looking. Wouldn't you agree? Wonderful. Wow. Now get yourself on the phone lines because we're about to give you an amazing price tag. Your purple quartz are four mil on a 36 centimetre strand. Your purple cord is one mil, you get 10 metres of each, and you get two of those, so you get 20 metres in total. 75 carats in your pairs of amethyst, seven by four to 12 by eight on a 20 centimetre strand. All of this 
For under a tenner, are you crazy? Wouldn't you pay more than that for the amethyst drops? The quality is that superb. 9.95, I really do think today's word is absolutely value. 9.95, VMG C15. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful to have your company here this morning at Jewelry Maker, where we plead with you to keep it interactive. We love to hear from you. We'll be reading out your text momentarily. Gorgeous satin cord, 995. 0800 is a free phone number. Don't forget, if you're dialing from the UK and it's your landline, it'll be for free. Don't forget, you th do you know, I would multi buy these. I think that's, I think the, how much are those amethyst teardrops on their own? They've got to be more than that. I think that's a bit low. I do. Well, no, I like the price, don't get me wrong. I just think it's a bit crazy. Well, that amethyst, should I tell you what it is, Oliver, is that you see this amethyst, if you go and buy an amethyst ring from, let's say, Tiffany & Co or somewhere like that, where coloured gemstones, they do ha they're do they really trendy coloured gemstones at those collections, if you go online, it's this kind of colour that you see. It's not necessarily the paler types in silver and in silver is the paler types but these deep colors normally they set into gold they're normally much more expensive so then i'd have thought these would be our more expensive amethyst i reckon about i'd have in fairness i'd pay 20 quid for those drops that's not the price of them but i'm just you know if you do a bit of worldly comparisons then i think that's a really low price i think it's great value isn't it isn't it lovely to have you on board today? VMG C15. Now, my little darlings. Do, 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 loo. Oh my God, are these new? I haven't seen these. Oh, wow, I need them. I need them, I have to have these. You have to have these. Look at the size. When was the last time we had massive Labradorite slabs like this? Natalia, look at this. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. I could see them from, from here, but I couldn't see the facets on them. And they're lovely shapes. So Aren't interesting. They? And because you've got all these different... Look. Oh, they're so gorgeous. And they're just going to sit so beautifully, aren't they, on the neckline? Let me show, there's so much shiller bouncing off the edges, but I can't, I can't grab it for you. Like this one I'm seeing absolutely stacks, but you're not seeing it. It's so annoying when you can't show shiller. Here you go, like this one for me is like really thunderous. Can you see where these have all got little edges on them? They pick up the iridescence. It's really hard to show you. Can you see it on there? Huge, huge labradorites. What, oh, do you know what these ones remind me of? Neon tetras swimming around. Look at that, look. Oh, that's beautiful, isn't it? Isn't it just? Yeah. And then these, I think, would do well Laura Binding style. I was just thinking Laura Binding sitting there, weaving her magic with her wire, making that look gorgeous. Did I say that like food? I'd like my noodles Laura Binding style. <laughs> like Thai style noodles. No, I should do that little, Thai. like a crocheted cage around the edge to sit the... Yes, like I bevel. love it. Yeah, yeah. And kind of just day when she Yeah, that. it works so well with gemstones like that. I think this is very earthy. Ancient earthy. Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen the film Mad Max? Oh, yes. That's what these are reminding it me does. of. It does. Fu uh, well, that's a bit futuristic, futuristic actually, yeah. but also, I don't know, I can't explain it. It's, it's just got that... Do you know Tina Turner's outfit? She's that a chain mail outfit I in love it. Mad Max Beyond She's Thunderdome. She's amazing, that woman. Yeah, and she would have looked good in those. She would have. Have you ever seen the movie, Tina Turner's Life? Yes. Yes. Oh, she's ace. Gripping. Isn't she ace? Women are great. 
Women are great, aren't they? That <laughs> Laura's going, yeah, we really are. <laughs> we are brilliant. <laughs> look at that, look at that. Mm -hmm. Now, what are you going to mix with these? I'm tempted to, well, absolutely. I, I think these are all pendants on that larger strand. You could make an overhead necklace. It's going to be heavy because these weigh 520 carats. Do you know how Laura Binding did that lovely cuff where she, she puts one central big feature stone? And, uh, and that would be perfect for that, wouldn't it? Yes, like how a many watch style. You can make? Yeah. yeah. I just think they're so powerful. Now, can you see? Because there's so many edges. It's I'm really struggling to find the right lights. But, yeah, but this is what I get on all of the edges. Wonderful. Wonderful labradorescence. This is, I, I don't know whether I want to cage them too much because I want you to see that power behind labradorite. It's definitely a double take gemstone and I think it's one that you're going to really be able to strike up a conversation with your customer about. Do you know, if you were Mark Smith, you'd put these all in a bowl and put it in your bathroom or in your kitchen. It would be one of those kind of ornamental strands. He does that a lot. Really? Yeah. He wears rose quartz slippers. They're like ruby slippers, but rose quartz. Really? Mm. Yeah. I made that bit up. I was going to say, I was kind of a bit lost for words then when he said that. I think we should wear rose quartz, like, um, like glass slippers from Cinderella, but rose quartz. How beautiful would they be? <laughs> I think they'd be solid enough. I reckon. I think a lavadress could carve a rose quartz shoe. Glenn Lehrer's coming in this afternoon, so... We could ask him, couldn't we? Well, talking Take about talking about um, cutting gemstones. I mean, look, every look. See, that's what I get now. It takes me forever to just, see see how yeah. it flows. Around. It is on every gemstone, but it's so hard to show you because I've got a million light sources above me. You're only going to have one: the sun or your living room or wherever you are. You know, it's just it's lovely. That is luscious, isn't it? Isn't it lovely? You get two strands of these. If I may, I'm going to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 on the one strand. So if I'm giving you one strand for 13 quid and they're a pound each, that's fair dues, isn't it? It it's is. fair dues. You've got 1,040 carats of labradorite in those two strands alone. 80 carats together with the rondelles, it's called Luxury Labradorite. EBG C10 is your item code. I would pay more than that with a one strand of, you're paying one pound of gemstone on the strand and everything else is for free. It's really hard to show you that labradorescence, but it is there, you, you saw it. Ryan's getting purples off that. Wow. I'm so desperate to show you the labradorescence here. 12.95. The value is incredible. EBG C10. Natalia, when you know how popular Labradorite is, mm. would you be grabbing this deal? I would, and I know that the audience just loves Labradorite so much. You know, it is the number one gemstone that uh, viewers are wearing when they come on my workshops. Yeah. They walk in the room and we go, oh, I know which gemstone you like, because they've got a whole set of jewellery, you know, the, from top to toe. Do you know, I've had a few people on the Sunday Experience who've never used it, and oh. we gave it to them here, and they're like, oh, wow, I get it now. It is, it's, it's the best kept secret until you actually start watching and working with it, isn't it? And then you just sold, you just fall. Fall in love with it. Oh, gorgeous. Now, I'm going to show you the cashy pearls that I've got coming up for you later on. I do love a pearl. Now, these look amazing sewn into things like sari silks. Great sewn into wedding dresses, wedding pieces. I'm going to an Indian wedding next month. I'm going Are to you? Tab's wedding, who is one of the directors here. Are you going to wear something Eastern influence? I think I might wear a sari. 
I'm not sure where I would get one from. How do I? Where do I go? Well, you know, there is a shop um, near where I live in Bradford, and it's very famous for being able to buy all of that kind of stuff. Ooh. It's a fantastic store. I'll have to tell you about it in the break. Isn't it lovely? Mm. That you can, uh, but pearls, I mean, they are very bridal, aren't they? Very bridal indeed. I have got such a wonderful strand of Labradorite coming up for you later as well. Oh, I don't even need to try and find. Look, now believe me, it's so hard to show you Labradorescence. When you see it like this, as powerful as this, when you get it home, think magnifying that around up to 20, 30 times perhaps. It is so striking. The gold pearls are definitely my strand of the day. And I know we've all got our different favorites, haven't we? Maybe it's the Labradorite for you for me. Has to be this strand, I adore pearls. Look at the size of these. <gasps> and the aquamarine, oh, how I love aquamarine. Aren't those gorge? And you know what? I've got some mookite from Mooka Creek in Australia there for you. Do you like mookite? I just love the colours. I love the solidarity of colour. It's the second time I've said that word today, isn't it? Solidarity is my word for today. Now, stop calling me Jenny Cleary. It makes me sound like I'm in trouble by a teacher. My name's not Jennifer. No, it's not my name. It's not my name. Ginevra. It's not made up. <laughs> Just Jenny then, all right? <laughs> but Ryo Nilio. <laughs> We got that they're back, but this time they're in a dip. This time they're in a different bundle. Look now, these for me are uber exciting, but I've got something that we never, ever, ever, ever see. Clear quartz hearts. If you don't get these, you're not. It's going to be one of those things that you go, oh yeah, those are lovely, and then tomorrow you go, oh, I wish I got those, and then the next day you think, oh, why didn't I get those? And then the wall of fame entries come in, and you think, ah. Oh, You've got to have these. You've got to have these in your stash. They are gorgeous. Look at that clarity. What, clear quartz hearts. Hardly ever see, do we, Natalia? And look at the no. clarity. Oh, that's gorgeous. I love that. So are you thinking ahead, you know, Valentine's Day? Oh. Oh, it's going to be around the corner before you know it. Now, Cass sparked up then when we said Valentine's Day. Do you enjoy Valentine's Day, Cass Harmon and Holly? Do you love a valentine? Ryan's going, no, listen, Ryan, anything that's an occasion where you have to buy something and make an effort, birthdays, Christmas, Valentine's Day, Ryan is not a fan of. You like Valentine's Day, do you? You don't. Oh, don't you? But do you know why I like it? It's not about just about, like, boyfriend and girlfriend love. It's about family love. Is it? We always have... Yeah, but it's nice to have an excuse to have a themed dinner with oh, the kids. Oh, I see. Right. Sorry. I get you now. Yeah, what, do you, what did you think I meant? Like, I love you, pig, in the garden. Mm, I do no, love I thought pig. you meant like you've got cards for your kids and everything. Oh, I do do that, yeah. What, on Valentine's yeah. Day, really? Yeah. Okay. They don't know I put love from question mark. I'm like, somebody fancies you. they don't know, you. it's you. Secret Ooh. admirer. All the girls keep asking Max out, but he just wants to play football. He's not interested. He thinks girls are gross. They are pretty gross, though. <laughs> do you know what, though? Do you remember when you were little getting like little trinkets off boys at school, little hearts like this? Would be so cute, wouldn't they? I just think these would be wonderful in bridal uh, crowns and tiaras. Now, do, you, do we still have Gemma Crow's crown that we had yesterday? Because wouldn't these look amazing? And I know somebody put on Facebook that they would just love to see a masterclass on that crown. Well, I would too, actually. And I've got to say, you see the little dangle here? Wouldn't this look great? And instead of the blue being one of these hearts, in fact, I think hearts all over this would look really, really cool. I just love this. Isn't that wonderful? Have you seen this, Natalia? 
Oh, isn't that beautiful? Isn't That's it a amazing? Disney princess, isn't it? Yes, it's a Disney-style it. crown. She's so clever. I mean, we know that. If ever you get married again, I'd like you to wear something like that, Yeah, please. I'll wear that. So all these hearts are just fabulous. I think they'd be perfect for, uh, for a tiara. I also think they're great for charms. Do you know what? They also make wonderful wings. Put them point to point, mm -hmm. angel wings. Mm -hmm. And because you've got the blue quartz over, it's for a boy. And again, these are wonderful for Sutash, the two rounds. I'd love to see beady beads out of those little hematite rounds. And I'd also love the bead loom. The blue quartz we saw in Natalia's kit earlier, and we know they look fabulous. Are you ready? NYG C28. Really? How much are these hearts on their own? About that price tag, I'll wager. Twelve ninety-five. Look what the gorgeous Sue has made. Oh, I love it. It's like raining hearts. Oh, I love that. Well, yeah. They look like little water droplets that just turned into hearts. Oh, it's like, it is all Disney-esque. Yeah. I do love a heart. I do. We're all romantics at heart, aren't we? Are we? Yeah, of are course we? we are. We pretend we're not, but we are. We Secretly, like deep down. Now you could use your colour beading thread through that. Have you got the beading thread project DVD with, um, with Gemma Crow? Because if you have... I think you're going to really enjoy him, uh, putting these hearts in. But I do think these hematites can go a really long way as well. And the blue quartz is always a winner, isn't it? With those sparkly pieces. Absolutely beautiful. Now, a lot of you have been asking, when, 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 when are we going to give the Mookite flowers? Well, how about now? I don't like making you wait, because I'm an impatient person too. Have a look. I just love Mooka. I just want you to look at the colour that you get from Mookite. You only get this in one place. Aren't they pretty? You know we were saying about those boho chic hairbands that all the girls, all the young girls are wearing at the moment. Uh, they're kind of... Well, you just put, you just strand it on elastic and put it around your head. And, and girls with the long hair, they look great, don't they? That real boho look. But these are also wonderful wine glass charms. These are also fabulous earrings. Great in rings. Fantastic in an overhead necklace. Really pretty with antique bronze, I'm finding. I, I love the fact that you've got these wonderful colours. You've got almost these creamy colours in here. You've got mustards, you've got the deep, deep red mould wine. We love that. The claret colours. And you know what? I love it when they blend like this, kind of rhubarb and custard style. Oh, vanilla. Oh, mocha chocolate. Isn't this wonderful? Look, look, look at all these fabulous colours. Look at the grooves. Now, could you make use of those? Could you clutch on a prong setting, maybe, I'm thinking? I don't know. Could you do that, Natalia? Wouldn't it? Yeah, wire well, I in think there. So. And put some gems, so some some of the miniature gemstones that we had on earlier, the little seed beads little seed down beads, the wires, yeah. down the prongs. Oh, that would look so pretty. It would. And you get little white quartz in between each one of these as well. The tones, I love the tones. If you're not massively confident, I I actually think we all get like this. Some days you're brilliant at mixing colour, other days you think, what is going on in my brain today? Nothing's happening. Natalia, the top you're wearing, this strand would look perfect with. That's why I love Mookite, because I love those colours. I love that kind of mustard colour. I love yeah, that, me too. that pot wine colour, that cranberry, yes. deep cranberry. Yes. Port, yes. Very so wintry. wintry, isn't it? Yeah, so mustards awesome. and port wine colours are very wintry. Very country colours, actually, aren't they? Yeah, they are, definitely. With the sort of, um, the, the tweedy greens. I am, I'm very, I'm very much loving all these autumnal tones. Brand new to say. I might give them a count if that's all right. These would make good cufflinks too, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Twenty-seven for the strand. Do you know that's a good point? They would make really great cufflinks because they're not girly flowers. They just no, because the colour shapes. allows them. Yeah, yes, absolutely. The, the colour is I think, perfect. though, Natalia, men do go a little. I mean, if you were walk into a shirt shop, 
Mm -hmm. And you look at those big glass displays. Mm. The cufflinks are really sparkly and they are quite feminine, but men don't te seem to mind that in a cufflink. No. And you see, you know, floral shirt fabric, don't you? Yeah. I love it. Mm. I love those sparkly cufflinks. I think they look really smart. LQG P51 is your item code. You get loads on the strand. Colour, solid, gorgeous colour, shape, you got it all. Are you ready? A brand new strand of Mukai, and you know what? This is perfect autumnal strand. Think about Harvest Festival, think about the colours, think about all those lovely leaves falling on the ground in the autumn, thinking about Halloween. Oh, I love it, I love it. We're gonna give you a bargain. These are only seven pounds and 95 pence. You've got to grab these. If you love a gemstone that only comes from one place in the world, Mooka Creek in Australia, can you believe that we go, can you believe this? These have been mined in Australia. They've come from Australia. Isn't it mad? Isn't it mad? 7.95, I think it's wonderful. I want to go to Australia, but I just can't bear the thought of the flight. My yeah. auntie lives out there on a farm, and I just want to go so bad, but. It's kind of worth the flight though, isn't it? If you go there for a long so time, scared. if you have a few weeks. Yeah, I guess. I, I just, I can't. I'm rubbish, I'm a wimp. Now, oh, I've got such a pretty, pretty kit for you. The moo coat would go very well indeed. I've got these wonderful classic colours in this kit, which I know you're going to enjoy. And I know if you are thinking now, OK, I'm done with summer. Do you know, I'm not creating any summery pieces anymore. Are you, Natalia? No. No, it's definitely. all about the warmer it's, tones. It's all about heading on into autumn and winter now. Mm. Well, I'm, I'm definitely going to create Christmas presents this year, absolutely without a shadow of a doubt, and I need to do it now because I'm really behind. I haven't had a day off, though. Let's look at these. They're tubes, and I think these work really well in earrings, but they're also great. Just think about them the other way up to the way that you're, that you're seeing them now, so sideways so they go across here like bars, and treat them like bars and weave in and out, in and out, over, under, over, under. Looks amazing. Have a look, aren't these mossy? Isn't that a beautiful, very Monet together, aren't they? Green Burma Jade, four mil, green jade, that typical jade color. And then look, it's got to be, hasn't it? And can you believe, look at the sparkle coming from this smoky quartz, it's Gorgeous. They're 10 mil round and they would look stunning. And then look, look. Oh, this is so wintry. It's almost like a hot chocolate, those two together. Now you've got a big mug of frothy hot chocolate. You've got your slippers on. The fire's roaring and you're making chunky gorgeous autumnal pieces that's what we're doing right now isn't it it is cold of a night now you've got ribbon in the mink and in the brown I like that's a chocolate isn't it now you've also got blah, blah, blah. now you've also got look at all this ribbon I love it when we give you different coloured beading threads. So you've got that there as well, all your beading materials. If this is a first purchase for you, it's a very wise first purchase, I think, because you get everything that you need. You've got two lengths of wax cord. They're five metres each. So you've got 10 metres in total. And you've got 96 findings. No toggle clasps on this, but you have got everything else. So you don't get the toggle class you see in the picture right now. Everything else is yours. A metre of chain, eye pins, head pins. Eye pins and head pins. You've got your shepherd's hooks, everything, everything that you need to get yourself started. UMG C40, it's called Misty Morning. And you've got all this gorgeous ribbon too. Look at all of this absolutely stacks I've got that ribbon there as well are you ready for an excellent price tag? we're gonna go and have a look at Natalia's wonderful designs 
under 20 pounds so just 19 pounds and 95 pence you've got that look and everybody's creating autumn pieces right now aren't they we're all wearing chunky Oh, oh, have you got your winter coat back out? Oh, I know, I know. But you want some lovely chunky jewellery to go with, don't you? And I love these tones. I love the shell. The shell could be summery. It could, couldn't it? But you're loving this for the autumn. Misty morning, UMG C40. Now... I know you're looking at these gemstones and thinking I just got to have them and I know that you are creating a lot of autumn pieces right now. Let's go and check out and be inspired by the wonderful Natalia. Come and have a look at Natalia's designs. I, I love, love what you've done. And that's this kit. I really loved it. It's got um, so many different um, sizes, shapes, colours. Um, I love shell pearl. I love smoky quartz. And, um, and I love the gold findings with it as well. They just go so well. And then we've got the ribbon in there, which, you know, adds another dimension to it. This would look amazing with what you're wearing. I'm going to make yeah. you try it on. And um, it oh, just seemed to, it seemed to go on quite a long way. So all the creations are quite gem heavy. Mm. Um, but, you, you know, it really stretched far. So I love it. I love the earrings. I absolutely adore what you've done with the bracelet. I'm just going to make you wear this a minute because I just want to think that needs to be on, doesn't it? I just want you to um, model it quickly. I can only hold it up for a little bit. But just see how that now lifts Natalia's outfit. I get my hair How well does way. that go? Do you see what I mean? There we are. Oh, lovely. Beautiful. It has to be worn, that. Sorry, yes, Ryan. I'm fiddling with microphones. Now, um, I'm, I'm a massive fan. How did you do that? Did you twist it? No, what how I did was earth? I just threaded those on onto the, the, to the ribbon, to the cream ribbon. Wow. And um, it just went on really, really beautifully. And what it does is it, it makes the, the ribbon very thin and, and makes it twist. So it gives it the look of cord, uh -huh. but they've still got that organza look. That's very pretty. I see. Let me just put this back, sorry, Rai Rai. And now we have also got, he's like, I can't see where you've gone. <laughs> I love, well, is this a regular plate? It's not, because it's got four, right? It's got four, yeah, so it's, so it's a braid with four, which I'm going to demonstrate. How do you do that? I'm going to demonstrate the next with hair? One. Yeah, you can do that with hair. I do like that, Natalia. But it Isn't just fluffs it out, gives it a kind of um, Elizabethan rough kind of look. That's exactly it, yes. But you have to make sure that you iron the ribbon, because, you know, in transit, it gets a bit squashed up. So just iron put it. Cool iron. Put stop. I got to get my iron out. Put the the iron on the silk setting so that you don't burn. I your have a silk there. setting. You have a silk setting. It's usually the first one on your iron. Oh, I just blast everything with steam. Yeah, I know. We see. Got to change your dial. Turn your dial on you. I, I saw a demonstration on a shopping channel where they lifted up a trouser leg and bl blasted steam through it. So I decided I'd try it. It was the worst idea. I burned all my eyes. Yeah, you've got to be really careful with I know somebody who actually tried so to iron bad. something they were wearing with one no. of those steam things. <laughs> that kid you not. <laughs> it was a friend of mine. I like the sound of this friend. They sound like they have the same kind of brain as me. <laughs> Look at that shell yeah. pearl. And I love where you've gone over the top of the gemstones with the jade. The earrings here I'm really enjoying as well. I love both pairs of earrings. Very Cartier, the ones with the smoky oh, quartz, yes, aren't darling. they? Darling, yeah, definitely. Darling, let's do lunch, darling. <laughs> Love to be one of those ladies that I know, just could do lovely, lunch because the house was already looking clean. Looking at jewellery and then recreating it. Just sort of sauntering, slinking around, looking great all the time, and, and going in your house and everything's clean. And sitting watching jewellery makers and just picking the phone up and ordering all the yeah. time. That would be Does nice. Does this exist? It? Like, are there people like that? Out yeah, there? I think so. That far viewers. I think well, that they, they have all these luxurious houses. Yeah, and yeah. And they just make wonderful jewellery all day. I'm really jealous. Yeah, me too. I'm jealous of all of you. Do you okay. know? Give us a demonstration. Shall I let's do a have a look. Go yes, back to reality. Please, let's go back to reality, shall we? Okay, so multi strand is really, really big at the moment. I'm going to get the macrame board because we can't see it on the back. Oh, well, I'm Where using the macrame board. So let me just um, see. What can I give to you? What can has I give to you? Got, where's that big old? Where's the big? The where's the big lovely oh, um, velvety better, one that we had? It's all right. It's Cass to the rescue. Cassie is racing forward Do -do -do -do. with something. Super Cass. Thank you, Super Thank Cass. You. There That's we are. Better, That's isn't it? better, isn't it, my darling? I did worry that you weren't going to be able to see that. There we are then. So what um, what I've done is I've cut my ribbon into um, very rough lengths because you don't know how much you're going to need until you've finished. Um, so what we've got there is about 
three you've quarters ironed of a it, meter. Don't forget, you've ironed well, it. Well, I didn't iron this one. I ironed the one that I braided, but this one gets all crumpled up anyway. So don't okay. bother ironing all the brown right. don't one. Don't bother ironing this. So you could use the cream one as well if you wanted to. Okay. Now, one of the easiest ways to thread beads on. Rather than iron it, I might just hang some weights on it for a couple of hours. <laughs> Anything I other than get that. Work, so I, I get the iron out, then it'll be like, oh, I've got the iron out, and I'm going to have iron. You have to do everything. Clothes. You have to yeah. do loads of shirts and things. Um, you can um, snip your ribbon down to a little point and uh, thread your beads on that way. But um, an easier way to do it is, is to take a little length of, co of uh, beading thread. Mm -hmm. This is only you know a few inches long, and then just pop it through your ribbon near the top. So it's going through, and you've got it near the seam. There we are. Can Doo -doo. you see? Okay. Yeah, so you've got now it near, we can. near the seam like that, and you're just going to pull it to. So it acts a little bit like a needle when it's going through your beads. Okay, so I'm just gripping that down um, so it's nice and, and both ends are flush together. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is take my beads and just oh, thread. Oh, I see. So can these move then if I want to? They can move, but they do stay in place. So wherever you yeah. plonk them, they stay. And then okay. when you want to push them around, you have to, to get force them, them, but they yeah, will go. To get them symmetrical. Okay. So that, that's the beauty of this. Good. So just pull that through. Can you see? And then it's just going to go onto your piece of ribbon. Um, and so you literally, that's all you're doing. And so they're floating, and they're not secured with crimps or anything like that because the width of the whoops, the width of the ribbon is actually keeping them in place. So it's, um, it's giving them a nice point at which they're anchored down. And then you've still got the ribbon in between, which gives it that lovely flow, flowing movement. And so when you have, I've threaded some on here. So I've got, let me move this one out of the way. So decide how many multiple strands that you want. And then, so this one will be our center strand so then I can just move my beads around ah, so you can manipulate afterwards and sort of move around and think right here Absolutely. there Absolutely. yeah so when they're on your if you if you use a jewelry bust um, you can sorry for reaching across here I can't no. put my beads on there because I will roll away they'll all go to meet Ollie on the cameras and um, so I'm just uh, gonna put a few more on and then I can show you how depending on how much volume you like with your necklaces I like lots of volume so if I'm even though this is quite a fine necklace. I want several strands. Yeah. But if you just wanted to go for two, so when you've got them so lined up, you can say, do I want all my beads together, or do I want them slightly I think I want randomness, actually. You want randomness? Well, you've kind of got randomness here, yeah, right? Yeah, I do. So yeah. either looks nice, it's up to you, but they literally stay absolutely put wherever you wherever you leave them and then once you're happy use your uh, beading board to measure the length of your necklace to decide how, what kind of length you want and then it's up to you you can do it one of two ways so you can either cut your ribbon to the length that you require uh -huh. and then we're going to attach um, one of these cord endings do they stay in it. place good yeah do they stay in place okay. really well or you can just attach the, the cord ending at the point where you want it like that. So you're going to pop your ribbon ends in there. Squidge. Squidge. One side down. Turn it around and do the other side. I always like to pull the ribbon back so that you can get it a nice, nicely securely tucked in there. And then you can use your your scissors to trim it at that point, which uh -huh. makes your life a little bit easier than having yes. a cut end because it tends to jump around. Okay, I'm going to do that. Okay, and that is, is literally that. You've chosen four beautiful. strands. You can do as many as you want. As it's not a want. heavy necklace. No, it's beautiful. It's beautifully light and it's got the floaty, floatiness to it, but you can add bulk by having more strands. And you can use the different coloured ribbons as well. You can use the same technique um, to, to add different shape or size gemstones as well. Maybe you want to put a row of the green agate in there too. You can do that. And the shells as well. They would you look do great, it with the shell. They? Yeah, absolutely. You can really mix it up. Mm. So at 1995, you get two lots of wax cord. You get all of the gorgeous gemstones. You get 
96 findings, you get ever such a lot. Isn't it lovely to be inspired by fellow designers? That's where we're going to go right now for a bit more inspiration from you, in fact, on the Wall of Fame. Wow. What do these remind me of? Springs almost. These are yeah, fun. they do, don't they? Or like, um, you know, um, like a mousetrap. That's like it. it. Yes, yes. It's like that, isn't it? 186. This is great. And it's from Jean Helliwell in Matlock in Derbyshire. Is Derbyshire up now? Yes, it is. Good, because yes. that's the accent I've done. Hi. The, oh, it's, it's north to me, I suppose. Uh, Ryan's gone, actually, it's East Midlands. It's not north. But if you keep going up the M1 from here, it's you don't It's north to us, it. Ryan. Yeah. It's south to me. It's south to you, yeah. Mm. Anyway, anyway, I'm sure it's lovely, wherever it is. Hi, this is my very first time sending... Oh, wow! Jean, this is amazing. Sending an entry for the Wall of Fame. Also, my very first piece of... Get lost. Not actually lost, but look. <laughs> Yes, tell the viewers to get lost. <laughs> I mean, come on. There is yeah. no way. It's so oh. neat, isn't it? <gasps> Jean, how dare you be so good? Oh, no. There's so how many of you out there, there that do that. Oh, I just threw this Y creation together and it's my first time. My it's first serious. piece of jewelry was a stretchy bracelet and it was very unimpressive. <laughs> this is about Jean. What is she? She must do something wire worky for a living. I will read on Jean. I can't believe this. She made it with a new gizmo, 0 0.6 uh, wire, and she made all the twiddly links herself too. Maybe not up to a great start. Jean, this is, I thought you were gonna say, but we've been doing wire work for two years. Jean, this is your niche. Give up work, become a jeweler, <laughs> Don't look back. Run, Jean. Just Don't look back. All day. Absolutely. She came across our channel a couple of weeks ago. Come on. And placed several orders. Wow. I haven't stopped since. I think I'm officially hooked. Can you? Can I also say that Lucy and Jenny are so very funny? They brighten up my day. Uh, I'll pay you later, Jean. You can tell she's only been watched a couple of weeks. Yeah, because that's when I off. become annoying. Yeah, it's not funny after a while. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Mark is a genius. Enjoyed the Strictly Come JM show yesterday. Kind regards, Jean. Jean, you are totes amazeballs. You are an inspiration, Jean. Jean! Can you imagine what Jean's going to be sending in soon? There'll be whole, you know, installations. I don't want to hear of Jean toilet. going to work ever again. <laughs> she needs to become freelance jewellery maker. End of story. Yeah. Jean, come in. We want to meet you. We want to meet you. Okay, wow, okay. gorgeous. Okay, now this is, you know, I'm always looking for inspiration with chips and nuggets, and this is something else. Wonderful. This is 184, um, and this is Ida. Is this how you pronounce Ida. it, Ida? Yeah. And she says, hello, this is my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. The set of beautiful rose quartz and tourmaline is so delicate, and I love it. Hope you like it as well. Love all the shows, and I hope I can win so I can keep buying lots more beautiful gemstones. Ooh. Lots of love, Ida, and I love it. I think that that is so wearable. Mm. You know, sometimes we make designs, mm -hmm. and they look really great on display, but they're not maybe functional. But that is just, you just throw it on. I love the wigglies. It's a little bit Isn't it beautiful? Yummy. Yeah, little with the two, yeah. Isn't that beautiful? Little, little figure of eight. Gorgeous. They're gorgeous. Thank you for sending that in. Now, do you suppose somebody has made their own chain here? I think so, yes. Well, this is absolutely outstanding. Again, we are just in awe of you. Number 187, Naomi Hutchinson um, from Houghton Le Spring near Sunderland. Oh, Where's that? Where's that's that? That's near Sunderland. It's northeast. Is that up there? my north. neck of the woods. You know where Vicky Carr comes from? Oh, and I like me that. as well. You yeah. like that? In Sunderland. You sounded Irish then. <laughs> I always sound Irish. Well, I am Irish. This is what happens. Naomi uh, Farrar uh, is uh, saying to us, Hi, JM. I made these changes of jump rings. These, Naomi, this is amazing. Really, truly outstanding. Um, and she made them herself using the gizmo. What a fab oh, tool, she, she says. She made her Jump rings as well. Because um, you, you can do that, it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. It took a while to get uh, to grips with the box weave, um, but because I got the DVD from you, I watched it a few times until, ta-da, I made a necklace with it, and I think I would keep it for myself. Everything I use from JM. Keep making me laugh, keep up the good work. Thanks from Naomi. Naomi, 
Again, definitely a totes of maze balls going to yeah. you too. I find that took you a little while. It's though. Yeah, but it's okay. worth it, isn't it? Yeah. It's just worth it. it. Brilliant. Now this is showing off the simplicity of the gemstones here. Love Lovely the colour choice. Mm -hmm. So one eight five. There's some mucha in there. It, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yes, root our course. It's Isn't wonderful. It lovely. Mm. And um, and so, so with the lovely spacer beads and just simple, pretty. You can imagine that with a lovely jumper, can't you? With a cowl neck. Do you neck. know this is a type of jewellery you wear every day, mm -hmm. all the time. It's, it is. it's becoming a favourite because it goes with everything. And then it's a genuine gemstone. Mm. It's gorgeous. Um, and this is from Chris Williams, and she says, "I've been drooling over the round Tanzanite gemstones Ooh, that were yeah. on a few days ago. Can't afford them at the moment. Just back from Hull, so hope you have them again in the future. My entry for this week is." made with multicolored rutile quartz as a simple mm. design but the gemstones are quite beautiful lovely being back to watch the show love chris and chrissy you know as you rightly say that's all you need isn't it just yeah, really simplicity. good jewelry making skills gorgeous gemstones and away you go thank you away you go indeed now Mm, these look like sunstone, very warm. Ah, Mixed with retail quartz, not unlike the strand that you've got mm -hmm. for your challenge. This is another fabulous piece of jewellery. Love the antique um, bronze um, that you've used here as well. Wendy in fabulous Somerset. And Wendy says, Hi all to Jay and please find attached my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. It's a simple necklace and earring set which I made recently for myself to wear to a wedding. The wedding had a vintage theme. How lovely! And I wore the jewellery with a cream and black abstract print match dress as one of the presenters recently commented making your own jewelry is great because you can make just what you can't find in the shops that is exactly mm -hmm. what absolutely. I think absolutely because you never truth. can you get the outfit and you think right this is the jewelry I want and it's in your head yeah and you're in those blinking shops all day forget yeah. it I'd rather sit at home without getting achy feet and make my own mm -hmm. well done Wendy it's true though isn't it that's what got annoying. me into jewelry making is it? I would never find exactly what I wanted and I thought stuff it I'm going to make it myself yeah and then I thought well, I don't know how so then I, you know, went off the Oh, camera. wait a minute. I'm not sure we have to do We didn't have jewelry yeah. maker TV. And if we had then, then I would have just been glued. I would be now still, but... Well, now you are glued yes, here. Yes, I am glued here. <laughs> the wall of fame. The jewelry is made from sunstone, black rutile quartz set with antique bronze findings, all from JM. From Wendy in Somerset. Say hi to Somerset for us, Wendells. That is fabulous. Sorry, my cousin's called Wendy and we call her Wendells. You're Wendell. So Wendell. oh, sorry, You're Wendy and Wendells. Wendells now. Thanks, Wendells. Hope you enjoy that. <laughs> Now, I've got some bundelicious bundles to give to you. Have a look at this. Oh, I love it. Oh, that's Don't nice, you love turquoise? It? And I yeah. love those cubes because they make just the most incredible ladder weave. I, and I'm sorry I'm stuck with what ladder weave on it. Well, these are cuboids, actually, aren't they? I had a bit of a lecture. I had a lecture from my daughter, the difference between cubes and cuboids. She gets very cross when I get it wrong. Now very Egyptian. I was talking to you about, wasn't I? My son is studying Egyptian treasure at the moment and uh, we were having a look at Tutankhamun, the discovery of the tomb and all of this and all the goodies that were inside, all the treasures that were inside and of course this colour. When you're studying ancient Egyptians is prominent. Now you get, these aren't real turquoise actually, they're genuine gemstones, they have blue magnesite, don't they look so very much like turquoise? If I was giving you four strands of genuine turquoise, they're generally about 20 quid each, aren't they? So if 80 quid isn't, uh, did you see I stopped there, went two, four, six, eight. Uh, if 80 pounds isn't in your budget today, and it's not in all of our budgets today, I'm gonna give you a real treat, because you get the look of turquoise without the price tag. Now, look at these, you're going to love them. They're donuts, clear quartz donuts. Aren't these amazing? And, and of course, Natalia was talking about Mary Quant earlier. I find this shape very Mary Quant. Especially in the clear. Yes, definitely. Very Bieber, very Mary Quant, very it's much got that, that kind lovely of look. 60s look, hasn't yes, it? Yes, absolutely. And look at these. Don't you just love whether you're gonna use them together or separately, I would absolutely certainly do the ladder weave with the cuboids because I'm boring like that. But it looks good. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. It looks great in a bracelet. Would you bead loom these? What would you do with these, Natalia, my darling? Um, I'd mix them in, you know, I just have a big fat necklace with all of them together, just like you're doing there. Because just I just love that random selection of different sizes and colours and how gorgeous it looks. Now look, look, 
Do, uh, Ryan's just made a good. But you're right, putting them all together. Ryan's just made a good, um, good point in my ear there, Ryan. Is that the O's, the little O's, have a wonderfully thick edge? Would they be therefore suitable for soutache? Well, I think that they would be perfect. Because you assume they'd be flatter, says Ryan. Oh, I do look. Do you know what these would look nice if you made your own large jump rings and link this together? Yeah. Couple of jump rings in between, large ones, mm -hmm. and a necklace. Mm -hmm. Really simple, and again, something you can wear every day because a very non offending colour. Now, this bundle would set you up to approaching £30. Now, you get two of the cuboids, two of the rounds. I'll give you the dimensions. Your plain rounds are four mil, and your cuboids are six by four. Your clear quartz star cut fasted rounds are 10 mil, and your white quartz um, O's. A 12 mil and they've got real depth to them as well I'd say they've got about a five mil depth you know I would about half a centimeter on there so you should be paying approaching approaching 30 pounds for this bundle but not today my darling jewelry makers because we're going under 30 pounds for this bundle 0800 under 20 pounds sorry Woo! Now you're getting value for money, aren't you? So what's that? That's less than three pounds a strand, is it? Three, six, nine, two. That's less than three pounds a strand. Do you know what would look amazing? Look, if you were going Egyptian, now that, that right there is ridiculously Egyptian. If you want the pearls, they are coming up for you after the break. Don't forget, we got the die cutter on Saturday morning. It is the Spellbinders die cutter coming up for you on Saturday with Vicky Carr. Make sure you tune in. We'll be right on back. The Genuine Gemstone Company, we are happy to announce that our studio store is now open. If you attend any of our courses, you can now browse through special items, get exclusive discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Become an exclusive customer at the studio store. For more information on available courses and dates, please contact our call center. The new studio store. The experience just got better. Come and learn all about silver clay with international art clay instructor Natalia Coleman. This workshop will guide you through the basics of using silver clay, including how to plan your designs, cutting and shaping, firing and polishing. The full course includes 20 grams of art clay, use of all relevant tools, a buffet-style lunch and refreshments, a tour of the studios, a chance to meet the presenters and a visit to our Gemstone Museum. All of this for just £109.95. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Buying jewellery online from us has just become even easier with our new streamlined checkout service. We've made some little changes to make our website more accessible for all of the different ways you shop online, and now it's even easier using a mobile phone or tablet. Once you have added your items to your shopping basket, you can decide to check out now or save for later. Saving an item for later means you can easily find them in your own time, but don't forget to check back soon as all our items are selling fast. One of just a few changes that will make buying jewellery from us even easier. You can now watch clips from Jewellery Maker on our YouTube channel. Get interactive with Jewellery Maker. 
pearls are classic. I mean, who doesn't love pearls? You look at them, they look elegant, they look classy, and they make elegant, classy jewellery when you're creating with them. I think right from the whitest of white pearl to the peach pearl, they're always, always stunning, and anybody can wear them. They're one of my favourites. You see them, don't you, in expensive jewellers, covered in diamonds. Diamond and pearls are the classic duo, and that's why I love pearls. Pearls are always a huge, huge seller on Jewellery Maker, and I think it's because there's a huge amount of emotional attachment to them. I think whatever walk of life you come from, whatever your age, you always associate pearls with maybe someone who's worn pearls before you, maybe your grandma, maybe your maybe your mum. So there's always that emotional attachment to pearls. And they can be classic, they can be contemporary, they can really be whatever you want them to be. And definitely one of my favourite gemstones. Have you ever researched pearls? Have you been fortunate enough to ever come across the Golden South Sea Pearl, where for one, you will pay sometimes in excess of a thousand pounds per pearl? Golden South Sea Pearls are just divine. I can't afford them, but they are gorgeous, and I do always dream about one day being able to get just one golden South Sea pearl. Do you ever get that? Do you ever look at those really expensive pieces of jewellery and just think, I wish? Well, you know what? I think we're blessed here at Jewellery Maker because we can give you golden pearls. They're not South Sea pearls, but you can have a look. You can go and research golden South Sea pearls, and you can be inspired by the designs out there by some of the world's best biggest jewelers oh my gosh don't get too over inspired by the price tag now i'm going to give you the opportunity for the first time this year for me personally to give to you pearls of this color that are so round i've seen baroque golden pearls i've seen teeny weeny seed pearls in gold but my goodness gracious me these are the pearls I want to wear at Christmas time and I would l love to mix them up with my perfect round white pearls, intersperse them. I think these are divine. And yes, my darling jewellery makers, this is the strand that you want to keep for yourself. It's very Chanel, isn't it? Absolutely super expensive looking pearls. They will complete your outfit on Christmas day. Now. Often I talk about, you know, these kind of colours being wonderful for your Christmas table. Well, you know what? These are going nowhere but on my, on my, on my body, round my neck, around my wrist. They are so exclusive. I have always associated pearls of this kind of nature, women with a lot of wealth, the kind of women we look at and just think, I wish. I wish, I wish, I wish. And you know, we've all been, you, you know how you just look and you just dream and you wish you had that handbag, those shoes, that hair, that outfit, those pearls. It's that kind of pearl. One single gold pearl. Is it a South Sea pearl, Laura? South Sea pearl. 760 pounds and it's a small one. It's not round, it's a drop. Beautiful though, beautiful. Is that a very exclusive designer's or is that just, just a normal jeweler's, just a normal jeweler's, high-end jeweler's. So go and have a little research. Do you remember I told you at the beginning of uh, August, I went to Cambridge and we went into a jeweler's there to look at watches of all things. And I was a bit bored looking at watches. I wanted to look at the jewelry. So I came across a pearl necklace. It was two thousand pounds so I made an inquiry and I said are these South Sea pearls they were beautifully round no was the answer they are gorgeous freshwater pearls but they are not South Sea pearls oh my word and I thought it was expensive and then I went away and I had a little think and I thought no actually that isn't expensive because out there in high-end jewelers there is a showcase made of one single pearl one single pearl on a chain 100 200 quid easily easily so a whole strand of gorgeous pearls why is it out of the question that they're two thousand pounds well only because i knew how much i could get pearls for here at jewelry maker 
If I gave you this strand for £50, you would be getting exceptional value. However, this strand today is going under £30. I need you on the phone lines. I'm going to count them for you. They are our largest ever pearls. Now, these are perfectly round. The information says 10 by 9, but that's actually incorrect. They are between 10 or 9. These are to the eye just as round as they could be, aren't they? Absolutely gorgeous. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Seven, thirty eight, thirty nine, forty, one, two, three, four, five, forty five on my strand. Forty. I can't believe that. Even to have twenty on a strand, to have ten pairs of earrings, to have twenty pendants. Pearls are classically beautiful. I would just put a head pin through these. I would make a little loop and I would put them on fine chain that is nine carat gold on silver. It would be gold all the way with these. Absolutely all the way. A whole strand of over 40 pearls for under 20 pounds. Now under 30 pounds is excellent. Anywhere under 50 pounds for a strand like this is incredible value. Brand new today, HGG P64, 19 pounds and 95 pence is your price tag. You must hop on board quickly. This was a limited edition exclusive strand. We don't see pearls like this. Are they the perfect Christmas pearls for you? Natalia, talk to me about the gorgeous pearls that we're seeing right now how exclusive and different are they they are so lovely aren't they and you oh. know just look at them against your skin tone because they just look so complementary and you've got a paler skin tone than me and that color really suits me as well so that's what i love about it the way that it just harmonizes with your skin mm -hmm. Um, but pearls are just wonderful anyway. I mean, they're my birthstone, so I'm a big fan of oh, them. Oh, you're a June baby. But also, everybody loves them. All and you know them. know them. Everybody knows them. And yeah. when you look at these pearls, you can tell they're real. And that is a blessing because you can see they're real. You can feel they're real. Of course, we know when we place pearls against the skin, they're a couple of degrees below whatever temperature the room is. So we feel, they feel cool when you place them against the skin. 1995, an amazing strand about to go limited. Well done to everybody that's got theirs. Right now, I'm going to give to you some more brand new goodies. Now, we're gonna go to the classic and the contemporary, to the fun and the bright and the jazzy. That's what we're gonna do right now. And these are funky. Have a look. Natalia, you're gonna love these. The color is fab. If you are absolutely not gonna be wearing the normal rustic colours of winter and autumn, and you refuse to do anything but bright, then this is your strand. Can you, uh, we all have a friend who has that kind of personality where they just wear fab bright colours, you know, you can hear them before you see them. That's my friend Belinda in, in my circle of friends. Look at those colours. And I think it might be... Uh, my friend Natalia as well. I think you might be right. Those colours are really lovely, aren't they? Yes. That's a kind of an acidic, bright colour. So yes. just like, hello, I've arrived. Um, and look at that. Isn't that wonderful? It's a, that watermelon look about it, hasn't it? Definitely. Take us back to summertime, sitting on the beach. I saw your pictures of you in France, and you're all eating watermelon yeah, right, yeah. on the beach. And that just reminds me of that, because you all look so happy. And it just really does, it, take, it, it just trans, transports you back to your summer holes. Oh, they were great days. Ollie went, oh, great days, eh? Hey? Yeah, they were. Sandy watermelon, there's nothing like it. Yeah. Well, there's nothing like watermelon on the beach. Isn't it lovely? And that's, do you know what? They are kind of Hawaiian. I feel like I want to get my grass skirt out. I haven't actually got a grass skirt. My fictional, my fictional grass skirt is out, along with my Hawaiian fictional body. <laughs> Aren't these wonderful? And to add that sort of depth of blue as well is amazing, isn't it? Oh my gosh, Laura's just told me the price tag. What would you do with these? Uh, because they are bright and funky, would you just one, just one making the statement? Or would you just go, you know what? 
I'm going to go crazy. Do you know, I will confess that I did see those earlier on, and my eye was, because obviously, they, they, you know, you can't, um, can't avoid them, can you? can't you? not notice them. But I would really love to see them strung together um, with some little spaces between. I think they would just look so fun. Just like little silver balls or something like that? Well, I don't know. I think I'd probably put the pink in, you know, just throw that in there. Which ones? The, the, the um, well, either. They're, both of them look good. Isn't it cool, this? I just think it's bright, fun, fresh. And actually, if you're creating jewellery also for younger yes, people... Yes, I was going to say. You have to make sure you've got stuff on your stand for everybody. And, and not just necessarily for them coming to you to, to actually um, buy, but also think about, they're giftables. We all have younger people to buy for, perhaps for Christmas. Could be your niece, could be your granddaughter, could be your daughter, could be your daughter's friends. See, now, Oliver's can. niece has just had her ears pierced for the first time. How old is she, Oliver? She's nine. She's going to love these kind of bright colours. You know, I remember when I was young having these great big bright pink hoops. And she's going to make her own jewellery. See, isn't that fab? I think these are the kinds of things that kids are going to send her towards. Mia loves, and her friend Chloe love bright colours. And if I buy something for Mia, usually I have to get it for Chloe as well and vice versa with her mum because they lit, you know, she stayed at our house last night. It's funny how girls do that, isn't it? Now, look at these. Oh, I love, do you know what? Who's done this? Sue, what Sue's done is use the cord that these come on. Look at the, look at the different colour cords. Blue and pink cord, I really like that. Isn't that cool? And then, have a look at this. So using that as a feature. Bright, do you know what? It's lovely to have something completely different to anything else we've seen. Well, because Natalia and I have been talking very much about, oh, we're using autumn gemstones right now, but you know what? Perhaps you're sat there thinking, hello, no. Have a look at what you've got. Do you know what? I'm just looking, these are kind of like they're like triangles almost, aren't they? The, the yeah. uppy downy ones. Let's give you your price tag. You've got four strands. Let me give you, of course, your dimensions. It's called Colour Essential. And the Fuchsia Shell Drop Star Nuggets are 13 by 9, um, which are here. So those are 13 by 9, and they're top drilled. You have got your hot pink magnesite, 8 by 6 to 14 by 8. <laughs> You've got your uh, green and red printed flower shell ovals flower shell yeah. um, ovals 36 by 25 and your navy quartz I love navy 14 mil on a 36 centimeter strand CNG C34 all of this I like that, 11.95. Maybe you want to get your niece or nephew or daughter some jewellery making um, bits and pieces um, to help Santa out with the Christmas stockings. 11.95, great <laughs> price tag. And you're gonna make ever such a lot out of that price tag, aren't you? Now, I'm gonna get, oh, I love things that are new, now. Laura's just told me something a little bit cheeky. I don't know what's inside here yet, but whatever's inside here, you need to get on the phone lines for. There it is. Oh no, that was the wrong one. Oh, have I got the right one? You can't be price slashing this one. You can't, because it's got emerald in it. Moonstone, Labradorite, you've got green amethyst in there. Citrine, purple amethyst. Oh my gosh, are you really going to price slash this? Absolutely stunning. A deluxe beat. This is being priced such. I anticipate a sellout for this one. Get involved quickly. These were wow, wow. <laughs> How many wonderful um, Wall of Fame entries do we get from you all? Having used these, you want me to open it? I'm going to open it. Cass. Cass is going to kill me. Ooh, look at all of these. Oh, look at that emerald. Oh my gosh, you've got pink, pink um, amethyst in here. 
I always feel like, have you ever seen The Goonies? You know oh, the end yeah, of The Goonies yeah, where she goes, no that. sign, no sign, because she's got all the gemstones. <laughs> That's what I feel like her, Rosalita. I look like Rosalita, thanks. Your original price, you've got lapis lazuli in here. Your original price, I like got 50. These are really, really deluxe. Every, these are from the Gems of Distinction, aren't they? All of these are amazing. Wow. The value is always incredible anyway. 15 95 Natalia. I think you're getting ever such a lot for your money, aren't I you? I think you are. It's fantastic. But we're going to price slash. Do you love getting a bargain? Have you got an open basket already today? Or are you looking for something to inspire you to pick up the phone? Here, my darling jewellery makers, it is. Down from 15.95, and this price slash is only while stocks last or until nine o'clock tomorrow morning, whichever falls first. Going down from 15.95 to the ridiculously micro price tag of 11.95. I do love a sale. I love a sale as much as the next girl. 11.95. Wow, it's a great price tag. A wonderful deluxe selection of gorgeousness is what you've got do you know what I'm just I'm just there it is here Hang on. I just want to show you the size of the emerald has everyone got an emerald let me pop these here have a look they do they do have an emerald look at the size of the emerald though I just, do you know what I love? This citrine. I love the cut of it. These are all, uh, now Ollie's saying his favorite is the Moonstone because the quality, and the Labrador, the quality is amazing. Hang on. Hang about, hang about. It's, it's literally, stop, it's jumping. Look at that, the quality is just amazing. Maybe I should get my tweezeroos. That that would do it. Where are they? There they are. I can't do left-handed tweezering, however. There we are. Just, I'm going to show you. Do you know, can I just say, can you see the clarity in this Labradorite as well? It's ridiculously beautiful. Oh, that is like the moon at night, isn't it? Wow. I'm just going to pop that down, and I'm going to grab a moonstone can you see the blue iridescence wow wow look at that the quality here is what it's all about down from 15.95 to 11.95 pence so natalia great idea to be grabbing these tubes because you do have more scope don't you when you've got something like this maybe it's you know, your comfort zone, we were talking about that earlier, weren't you we? You do, but you know, do, do you remember I got a tube for my challenge last time? Yeah. A couple of weeks ago, and it was great because you've got all of these random gemstones, and it just makes such an interesting design. We had one on the Wall of Fame earlier on, didn't we? Where yeah. you just done random gemstones onto pieces of From chips wire. and nuggets. Yeah. Now, I'm going to put these back so I've got something else cool for you. Here we go, Cassandra, my love. I'm, I've got a few of these little Mooney Stonies for you. There you go. She loves me. Mooney Stonies. She loves the mess I make. Do you want to get this with Vicky Carr, do you? Yeah, come to my house. Come on out. <laughs> now, we're going to go to... I love the blender colours here. You're going to love this. Don't forget to stay tuned at 2 o'clock because we've got a masterclass. Have a look at these massive pendants. Hang on, yeah, it's all a bit, oh, it's intertwined. Wait there, it's this pesky rose quartz. Come on. There we go. I'm the kind of person that cannot deal with things that are tangled. I have to untangle them. Have a look. Now, the, these are a really great shape for the tops of tassels. They're big pendants. They're wonderful to wire wrap, aren't they, Natalia? Yes. Have a look. 
Because it's just the simplicity of them, isn't it? The colour is... Do you, can you see all these different shades of pink as well? Very, they're all soft. Yeah. Very pretty. They would look nice with some uh, lavender. Yeah, they're twisted. These look nice with your lavender amethyst look that you bought earlier. Let me show you those twists, you know. Look at these. It's, it's lovely, isn't it? It's almost like, you know when you melt the friendly plastic and it starts to go, oh. Yeah. What's the one you do, the shrink plastic? Shrink plastic. We haven't done that in ages. I want to do some more shrink oh, plastic. Linda did a must class the other day. Did you? Linda did. Linda did? Yeah, she did. Now, have a look. Because you've got... That was friendly plastic yesterday, wasn't it? Yeah. And look at these little droplets. These are like raindrops, aren't they? Aren't they lovely? Aren't they lovely? Light and beautiful. Appetite. Deep, 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 gorgeous appetite. Those nuggets are 4 by 3 to 7 by 4 These will look great. Do you know that appetite will look amazing with your um, gold pearls? Look, it's such a striking colour, isn't it? Don't you think those look wonderful together? Now they're very Roman goddess, aren't they? Absolutely gorgeous. Now, we're going to give you this trio for a wonderful price tag. As you know, this is... Oh, I put the wrong one back. What's wrong with me, eh? Way up. What would you do with this trio, Natalia? Would you put them all together? Are you going to use them singly? I think that... Did you say it was appetite? Appetite, Sorry. absolutely. Um, I would actually cage that around the um, the big slabs of rose quartz. How, how would you do that? With a really so, thin wire? Yeah, thin wire or you can use monofilament and um, oh. it's really good. And I first saw Sheila do that and that was my first exposure to somebody doing that and I, I loved it. So I've Would you do more than one, so, so sort of three or four yeah. strands going really over good. the top? Yeah, or even just one down the centre, looks great. What if I was to say to you that we're going to give you all of this, and I will count the slabs in just a tickle, just a little bit over three pounds per strand. It would be crazy, wouldn't it? Clear quartz, rose quartz like this, appetite, 9.95. This is a wonderful deal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. You could be paying for the rose quartz and get the rest for free, in my opinion. Nine ninety-five. Good gracious! It's a good price tag, isn't it? F B G C eleven. Do you know what? If you paid a pound a pendant for rose quartz in this size, in anywhere else, in a bead shop, you'd think I, I've got a good price tag, got a good gemstone for a quid. What else can you buy for a pound? Genuine gemstone? No. Look at what you're getting here. Unbelievable value, unbelievable. Great clarity on that court. They are like, they're like raindrops, aren't they? Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. 9.95. Well, well done to you if you got that. Absolutely fabulous. Now, Laura's favorite kit coming up. Oh, it hasn't it got luscious colors? Yes, I do love this. It's so very, very feminine is this kit. But I've got to say, the one strand, oh God, I really love this. I love the cubes. You know I'm a big fan of cubes. I am. When I see cubes, I have to get them. Now, um, this strand, I'm thinking, you know how you get all those sort of velvety ethnic prints and, and the sort of uh, hippie kind of prints and colors? That's what this reminds me of. Have a look. If you're using the sari silks, it's going to go absolutely beautifully. And if you're thinking, yes, sari silks, I'd like to use those, do tune in, my darlings, at 2 o'clock. Now, I've also got, look at these cubes. I'm obsessed with cubes because, A, bead loom, perfect. They sit so well. I love the lustre. I, and I, again, it's so easy to just do a ladder weave. Have a look at these two gorgeous strands. I love these ovals. The cubes really tick the box for me. And then look, look at this. 
I can't believe you're getting topaz, ice white topaz. So this is our luxury kit of the day. Ice white topaz in a double strand. Definitely worth a fanfare, that one. Then I'm going to give to you, check this strand out as well, a potpourri strand, a mixed pressed flower strand. I love this kit. This, this is your favorite as well, Laura, isn't it? Isn't, I, you know I love my greens, I really do. But this kit, this kit is a head turner, isn't it? Now, 0.25 wire for your tiara twists and, and other th things that you'll see Natalia doing in a minute. 10 meters in the aubergine. You've also got three different colors of ribbon. You've got the baby and the fuchsia pink and the purple. Then you've got the satin cord. You have got the white and you have got the pink, really, really pretty. Five meters of that. Now have a look at the beading material. I have got a big smile on my face with this beading material. Check this out. You have got the dusky pink beading thread, the pink elastic, and you've got the clear monofilament. Guess what? You've also got your findings, 98 of them. So yes, this is probably our most I'd say gemstone heavy, findings heavy kit of the day. Yes, it is. Yes, this is definitely a kit that has those added extras. And because of the white topaz, I'm absolutely dubbing it our high end kit of the day. Imperial Empress. Lavender amethyst is a birth gemstone, so is topaz. It's a birth gemstone of November, so you've got February, November there. You've got ribbon, you've got cord. What are you going to do? She didn't tell me the price of this earlier. I know it's our high end kit of the day. Is that the lowest price? 18. You've got a double standard topaz. How much is the topaz on? Is it? You've got a new amethyst. You've got wire. Oh my gosh, Laura, you are a banana. $18.95. Well, you're crazy. You're crazy, Laura Andralia. Let's go over. Do you know what? Talking of crazy, I'd like to go over and see that luscious lady, you Natalia. Crazy when you said Talking to crazy. Talking to crazy. Let's go and visit Natalia That's now. Me. The price tag for this kit is un. Unbelievable. Loads of you on the phone lines. Let's look at Natalia's designs now. Oh my gosh. Topaz. Wouldn't you pay that price for the topaz yes, on its own? Yes, and you can tell you're working with something special. Oh you my know, gosh. You really can because you look at the quality of it. You, you look, look at the, the colour and go, is that aquamarine? It's not, is it clear? It is clear. It's got this amazing hue to it. It has. It's just got this real special twinkle, yes. sparkly, <gasps> oh, beautiful. And um, wow. it's just the way that the light bounces through it. So oh. You know you're onto something. And it's um, it is really inspiring. You know you've got the colour, but you've also got this uh, this beautiful um, diamond-like quality of the topaz. I'm just going to swap that over onto the black bust if I may, and pop that one there. Yes, yeah, so you rearrange my display. Yes, because okay. you can't see the quartz and the lovely design yeah. that you've done. Show it off. Oh, look at this kit's going to sell out. You've got to be quick if you've got yeah, it in the have. basket. There are so many of you on the phone lines right now. I don't want you missing out. Please, if you're shopping online, you must check out your basket. Let's have a look at all of Natalia's wonderful, wonderful designs. I am absolutely in love with these. This is gorgeous. Oh, love it all. Love it all. It's going to sell out. You've got to be quick. I love the flat um, stitch that you've done here. What is that? Is that that plaiting again? That we yes, the, the braid with four. Isn't that lovely? Four cords. I can see right. that happening in the equestrian world as well. Yes. Oh, I thought you meant a tail on a horse. <laughs> no, I have got to do that at the weekend, though. So, okay. Oh, sorry, um, you're just telling me it's low stock. Right, Laura's, Laura's really, really asking me uh, to push, to tell you that we are so close to a sellout. I must urge you to check baskets out and to remind you that the uh, number that you're calling, if you're ringing from a UK landline, is free phone. Now, you're let's see how do you do this. I'm going to I'm 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 intrigued here. I love the the pretty delicate sorbet like colors Me of too. these cords 
Um, and so what I thought I would do is I'm using the macrame board here. Now I don't I have to confess I don't have a macrame board because you know what it's like, we guest designers, we're the last ones to get hold of things. We're not allowed things. You keep buying everything and then we sell out. I can't believe you so, haven't got your own um, macrame I, board. I used then. a bulldog clip at home, but this is okay. far better. Okay. Um, so what I've done is um, I've got four lengths of two of these um, of these cords. Before you do that, um, sorry, darling. That's uh, okay. Laura's just saying this kit's going to sell out. I need to just give you a refresher on the amethyst because people are asking for it. Have we still got it in stock? Yes, we do. I'm going to give you the details for that amethyst because, of course, they're making the connection. Everybody at home thinking yeah. how well it'll go with the kit, and it will. This looks stunning with that. Oh, I got it right, wrong way. There you go, so you can see the, the uh, look at that wonderful. Love that carving. There are cues, there are cues in the phone lines. Please do not hang up, stay where you are. I'm crossing everything for you. <laughs> the kit's gone and sold out. So for anyone that's on the phone lines, in le right, you've got to be on the phone lines, otherwise you've missed out. Now, I'm going to give you the amethyst. It is a great price. I mean, for Topaz, that's crazy balls, yes, it isn't is. it? Yes, it is. It's a really good kit as well. You're going to love it. Right, I'm going to give you the kit. I'm going to give you the price off your amethyst because a lot of people are asking to add it to their order. I just ate. It was just eight ninety-five. You've got an open basket. Please wang it in now. Wang it in. Wang it in. <laughs> wang it in. Welly wang heard it that in. I've been for a while. Is that a, is that a country thing? Like, I like, don't I say know. things and people are like, you, did, did you just say that? And I'm like, yeah. It's like tic-tac-toe, you lot call it rock, paper, scissors. Oh, really? It's funny, isn't it? And cherry knock it, things like that you just, you know, when you knock on, knock door run, people call it in Birmingham, but we really? used to call it cherry knocking. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. In case you're ever in a situation <laughs> where you... <laughs> right. Oliver, he, Oliver said he did it once and just used to stand there and not really <laughs> getting the concept of run. You know when you say Oliver, you get me really confused. Ollie, Ollie. I, yeah, it's Ollie. Yeah. Sorry, uh, he hates it when I call him Oliver, so I just can't help it. All right, so what I've done, Jenny, is I've got myself um, four double strands of the cord, of the satin cord. Okay. And um, make it longer. You, you need to make it at least a third longer than the length of the, the cord necklace that you want to make because okay. you're going to use you know more of the cord by crossing over and I'm interested to see if I can do this with other things like suede and things it's like that brilliant. so I'm really going to concentrate and it's so now. simple I don't do anything that's complicated trust okay me. good good um, good and what I've done is um, I've laid them out in fours and I haven't put them in specific colorways I've just done it randomly okay. because I just like They'll that random out. mix mm. yeah they will pick out so we always start from the left and work your way across and you can't go wrong with it oh so basically what you do is it's a little pattern so you I'm going to move this over slightly so you can see better okay. so you're starting with your left hands and you're just going over the second yeah like that and so I'm picking two at a time like that and then underneath the third, and then over the, the fourth. Oh, oh, like do that, that again, do that again, I'm I scared. Will. I'll just keep going. Oh, hang <laughs> on, you've done like a weave, under, over, under. So Is that right? Over, under. Under, and over again. And over again. Oh. And then you're kind of pulling it tight as you get to Like to a there. pant. Yeah, so don't worry about this bit at the top, you're fine. And so you're going over, and under uh, and then over. over I could do this with hair yeah you can do it with hair it looks great with hair and so just pulling it left right yeah left right over Tightening it under up as you go along. over and once you get to this point you've got a bit of a bit of um, a, a little bit of, of um, braid developing there so then you can start to pulling hold tight. them like that so over, over. under over that's it, that's it. Yeah, I've really got to make simple. up a rhyme in my head, otherwise I'll forget and, it. And do you know what? I, I'm so bad at logic and doing weaves and these kind of things. I have to actually repeat it out loud as yeah, I go along. I, I'm, I'm with you, I'm with you on that. Because that is just, my brain just does not compute though, these kind of um, numerical kind of um, functions. So um, I'm, I'm good at sculpting things, but I'm not so good at doing patterns. Things that are, yeah. Yeah. So that's all you do, and just Over, try and keep it really under. straight. Keep it, keep them flat Over. and straight, 
and get the same tension, which is what the macrame board is really great for keeping the tension so that it doesn't go all wibbly wobbly because it will. I'm going to try this on uh, everybody's hair tonight. So you can see how lovely that looks. And obviously, the I more cords that. that you use, you could carry on it's and go really and get a wider friendship bracelet. Yeah, that is, but you'd get a wider Ooh. weave if you if you carried on like that. So you just go all the way along. Over, under, over, yeah. under, over, under. You yeah. could do a really thick one. Yeah, and then, you, but you would need obviously a longer cord because you're going further across. So you're going to have twice as much. Oh, I'm not going to run before I can walk. I'm no, going to do that. I'm going to do this tonight. To start. I love yeah. this idea. So it's pretty, isn't it? It's so good as little stocking. Yeah, yeah. Little friendship bracelets. I love that. I've never seen that before. And over, over, under, over. Over, <laughs> under, over. Yeah. Right. You don't yeah. have to right. do it with okay. two the double cords. You could just do it with one. Yeah, but I like the way it looks. Look, yes, it makes it, it chunky and it's nice and flat. And then I used um, the cord endings just to, to fasten it in. Okay. And there's plenty of, of, um, of space in the cord endings. Yeah, I was just, just going to say, can, really you can well. pack that into a cord yeah. ending. Yeah, you can. I love the way it looks. And I really adore that. That, that those colour combinations they're reminding me of them um, vanilla ice cream and it strawberry is pretty, ice cream isn't it it's that mm. lovely um, it's yummy yeah, looking the, the or a bit chubba chub lolly yes yeah absolutely something sweet and gorgeous and yummy so what then, about that topaz so that is the the uh, the braid the the necklace that it's going to hang on and then we're going to make the pendant now and so what i've done is we've got our lovely wire we've got uh, 0.25 um, this purple wire in with your kit and, um, and then I've got about three quarters of a metre of, of wire that I've cut off there. You can't see that against the black background. And then I've threaded on um, the topaz. So it would say about eight inches of topaz, six to eight inches of topaz to make myself quite a big uh, pendant. So um, once you've done that, so leave quite a bit of wire at the ends because you are going to need it. Okay. And to start to form this kind of um, concentric circles. I see. I wouldn't have thought you'd have done it like that. So I've literally gone like that. So I've laid it out. It's very classic, actually, isn't it? But modern at the same time. It's yeah. funny. So you just you're getting it to the point where they both sit within one another like that. So that needs to be a little bit further over. So once you get you get your first one. You could put an amethyst leaf in there. You could put an amethyst leaf. If I had had amethyst leaves in my kit, They'd I would have been definitely, in there. the amethyst leaves, like a shot it would have been in there. I would have wanged one in there, as you would say. Wang it and, in. Um, so then what I'm going to do is, so that's my first circle, and I'm going to secure it with the wire, so I'm just passing that underneath. And it's great, these little chips, they conceal the wire so well. So I'm doing, doing that, just securing that circle in place. And then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my, these little agates. Are they I love, agates? yes they are, and aren't they gorgeous? Um, so the, it's that the patterns, fruity isn't it? Fruity colour, like mm. a black currant shade, isn't it? So that's the one I chose to go in there. So I'm taking the end of my wire and just passing it through the, through the bead. Mm -hmm. And that is going to stay in there. So I take my wire back up the outside of the bead and then around the top of that wire there to keep it in place and then again back through through the topaz just to, uh, to, to keep it in, in there and don't cut that off yet because um, you can use that later and then I'm going to take my other end of the wire and, um, and where we were threading the, uh, the, the first piece of wire, I'm going to do the same, so I'm going to secure all of that in place. It's, so what is great about this is you're doing it all with one piece of wire, and so you're keeping it together there. Make sure that you, you get all your topaz. Actually, I'll do that before I, before I do this. So pushing it back up to the end of the wire and then taking it round and then securing it in place like so and that's that's literally how you do it so you do it more so carefully just a re and repeating than me. and getting larger each time yeah that's right and then what I've done is if we look at the original necklace here is I've actually made myself a little bail so that bail is going to, to be the point at which your your braids gonna pass through okay. I do love that braid a lot over under over so just take another piece of wire 
and a small piece of wire and then you've just got a couple of inches of the topaz threaded on there and you're going to thread that through and, uh, and, and, and wrap your wire around to create a little bale so it's a little bit messy but you can see you're going to create a bale like that so that is going to be wide enough for your braid to pass through and it's all going to sit really neatly and voila and of course you can use different coloured agates I, that was the one I chose because I really love the purple I, lo I just love the colour of that topaz yes it's gorgeous isn't it you pick it up and Very you know special. straight away mm, something different about this it's definitely not clear course absolutely gorgeous uh, the kit did sell out I'm so sorry about that uh, but of course I know that you're going to want to have a look at Natalia's <laughs> designs they will be on our Facebook page and we will repeat this show on uh, what's it called YouTubeio YouTube, yeah. <laughs> you know, YouTube's got a new icon for its app. Oh, has it? Took me two weeks to. F I thought it. Oh. I thought my YouTube had disappeared. I kept trying to re-download it. And they're like, you already have this. I'm like, no, I haven't. Yeah. It's now a red box with a play button in the middle. This Not update the, is just oh. awful. I don't like it. I was all a tither and a tather. Didn't yeah. know when the YouTube had gone. You have to update everything, don't you? It's all changed. It's all changed. It's all changed. Now Laura's going to make a Jenny Cleary. Yes, Laura Androlios. <laughs> We've got some very special pearls to bring everybody, oh. so away I go. And of course, to leave Natalia to a challenge, which she hasn't really had much time to do because I've been chitter chattering to her today. Now, come on over. If you'd like a jewellery maker mug, I can't give you the tea that's inside it, uh, but maybe you could hire Cass for the day. She's very good at tea. Now, I'm going to give to you. The jewellery maker mug is on the website. Have a look. I need some of these at home. Why haven't I got some of these at home? You should know, Laura Androlios. Now, these gorgeous pearls, I think, are perfect for sewing into lace. If you're making lots of wedding jewellery, sew these into lace. I think they look incredibly, incredibly beautiful. If you like to mix your mediums, then I would most certainly put these with fabrics. I think they're going to be stunning in tiaras. I think they're going to be just gorgeous. Around the top of a pair of winter gloves, if you were really, really posh and you wanted pearly gloves, you know, if you're going somewhere really, do you know what? I went racing and I needed gloves. There is no way I was going to just wear, you know, you have to wear really posh ones, don't you? So these would be cute, really gorgeous. And it wouldn't cost you loads because these pearls are going below the average. They are genuine Keshi pearls. So all this wonderful texture. Because of that texture, yeah, you see the pearlescence, it just sort of goes boing. If you've got the gold pearls and you want them to go ever such a lot further, wonderful. Now, there is a difference between these gold pearls and the cashew pearls. The cashew pearls are not perfectly round, but that's why we love them we, when we want texture. So if they're a tiara, we, we love them so that we can put them with 0 0.25 wire and give them a tiara twist. I do love these cashew pearls with something where you want the um, aquamarine to take center stage. Perfect. I actually adore this combination. I think aquamarine and pearls together are spot on. Love that combo. Do you? Genuine, I think very bridal white cashy pearls for your vintage pieces you you can't create vintage in a massive scale without using that wonderful gemstone that is the pearl Gemma Crow would go crazy for these Natalia I know that like me you are definitely a pearly queen what would you do with these um I was making a, a piece the other day and um, it was um, a mold of a sea urchin <gasps> Do you remember you. when we did the yes. master class? Mm -hmm. And I was looking for the very thing that you have direct across your beautiful oh. wrist because that would look really good with it. So if you're doing any kind of sea themed jewellery, um, those are perfect. They are, it's, it's that one, it's the texture, isn't mm -hmm. it? It's the texture we're looking for here in these pearls. And the texture is most certainly what you've got. They are, of course, the birth gemstone of June. Pearls need no introduction because everybody knows a pearl, don't they? We easily recognize pearls. There is no way, because look at all of this organic shape, that you know that they're real straight away. The only time you really, really question if a pearl is real or not was when they are totally and utterly perfect. 
drops on earrings. You could do tassels with these. I actually think, have you got the Wirework Ring DVD? Look fabulous on that. Lots and lots and lots of texture is what we're talking about with pearlies. Now get yourself on the phone lines for these. I'm just trying to find, we have got a tr, a, a little um, hair comb actually, but with different style pearls, which I just think, totally winter, yes, for winter weddings, absolutely snow queen look. If you want, now I've got some Keshi pearls that we had yesterday in gold. If you bought those, think about putting them together. You know, if you just added some white, it would make all the difference, wouldn't it? I think Sue did that. Look. Fabulous. Let's give you a price tag. Of course you can come shopping in one of two ways. Use your debit card or your credit card. Oh, you're gonna be very shocked at this price tag. Now, I've promised myself not to get cross about price tags for pearls, even though it is uh, devaluing them. I'm not going to go into it. I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to go in that room. The door is closed. Six ninety-five for genuine freshwater pearls. It is the price, quite shockingly, even though the world gives us much bigger price tags for pearls. Here at Jewelry Maker, where we are crazy, six ninety-five if you're creating bridal jewelry. Isn't there a major opportunity for you to make a good profit right now? I think so. What do you think? Six pounds, 95 pence. You have to multi-buy on these. You just got to, because if you run out, oh, how perfect are these going to be at Christmas? Again, you know how I keep saying, going on and on and on about Christmas decorations. Actually, Christmas decorations can be heirlooms. What about your angel, your Christmas angel? Making real, Christmas, Christmas decorations from real pearls is a joy. What about embellishing your table? Will you be making your own Christmas decorations for your Christmas table, Natalia? Oh, yes, I will. Definitely. I can't wait to do that. Yeah, I love doing that. I'm really mad on any kind of seasonal um, makes. So, like, I really like to do stuff for Halloween. I like to, to decorate my front, um, you know, the, the path and uh, around the front Me door. Me too. Treats instead of sweets, Oliver. I'm going trick or treating at your house if you're giving pearls. Six ninety-five. Christmas cracker pearl earrings. Amazing. That would be wonderful. I'm just thinking again. You know how I'm loving the fact that I'm doing this. I'm doing pillar candles, and I think these would be amazing. I will count them for you, Laura. I know that you want me to, and you know what? I might be here a while, but I'm going to do it for you because you said Jenny Cleary. I'm counting them. Just don't do that thing you do. This is killing them. 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 2, 3, 51. 58 pearls, are you serious? 11p a pearl, can you imagine being that oyster now? <laughs> Watching, 11p. They'd be like, what's the point? <laughs> Slam the door. Oh, I give up. I hate you. <laughs> they would have a proper tantrum, wouldn't they? Do you think a, a, an oyster can have a tantrum? Would it just snap shut and yeah. say, I'm not doing it anymore? As if. And clamp its little mouth shut. No one's <laughs> getting in there. Not for 11p. Come on. I mean, crazy. I do like the idea of it having a tantrum. Yeah, a little diva, diva. We um, all oyster. have them, girls. Are oysters girls? I don't know. Do you know what? <laughs> <laughs> that is my question of the day. How do you tell if an oyster, it, does a female oyster create a pearl? And Because females do create good things. Anyway, we'll go to the Wall of Fame whilst Laura's Googling it. It's yeah. so wonderful, isn't it, that we've got all these different mediums available yes, to us no. now. We're just expanding, aren't we? All and you, the time. And you think that you run out of different things to bring, and there's always something new. 
just taking one crafty uh, medium that you have, maybe you're sewing and just bringing it into your yes. jewellery making. You'll see yes, that at sorry. two o'clock with Natalia and I. And again with the mesh here, using a fairly new material as far as materials go yes, definitely. to us here at Jewellery Maker. 191 is from, who's it from? Uh, Ruth Davis and Ruth yes. says hi all at JM Linda showed making petals using wire mesh so I had to go I made the brooch using one mil wire I love mesh don't, isn't this what fab and the whole frame is um is one piece I used the crack quartz for the center attaching with 0.4 wire and using this wire to fix a bar brooch back to the frame I love it if JM could stock these fine we all want those we all want those Ruth uh, the blue beading thread from a recent kit was used to make some stamens I also brushed on some lilac alcohol ink good on you I love it uh, they're available on the um, they're available on the website the alcohol links they're fab um, do 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 where did I get do, 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 there around the center to emphasize the quartz bead the end of the stem was rounded off with a cup burr tool I think this will look fab on a plain dress or coat, I, or with a scarf. Just, uh, I think mm. that'd look great. Nice. A cream scarf, I think that would look fabulous mm. on. Hope you like it, and it makes the wall of fame. Love it, love it. And again, thinking about winter jewelry as well. Yeah. And um, in the title bar, inspired by Linda, Ruth has put well done, 191. Lovely, and we're Ooh. all going bonkers for chain mail. So yeah. there's another example, lovely earrings here. And this is 189, and this is from Emma in St. Austell in Cornwall beautiful parts of the world and she says this week's entry to the wall of fame is a pair of earrings made from gorgeous rose quartz pink wire and purple aluminium jump rings to make a byzantine weave all brought from jm and i made the shepherd hooks myself to match the wire wrapping on the quartz i hope you like them big smiley face from emma jones emma we love them and um it's a really good idea isn't it make your own earring wires if you've got the uh, got uh oh the, the gosh yeah. wire i always do it yeah so that it all coordinates yeah because otherwise it's, it doesn't tie in as well it's yeah. a perfect uh, and actually i'll say how perfect yeah those are they are very beautifully good. done Oh my <gasps> gosh, the clasp. How lovely. We need is that? these clasps. That is so stunning, isn't it? But also, oh. it's beautifully presented. I love the way it's photographed. I love this. We have to get clasps like this. Number 192 is from Jean. And oh, Jean, Jean says, Twig. She's amazing. Jean Twig. Oh, this is. Can you see the. Look at that. We need this kind of toggle clasp. Hannah Oxby, I know you're watching. Make it happen. Because you're not busy enough as it is. Here's my entry to this week's Wall of Fame. It's chainmail bracelet made from aluminium and silver plated jump rings. The clasps and beads are from my stash. Hope you like it. Well, I don't like it. I blinking love it. Do you know, I think that is gorgeous. Jean Twig is the most wonderful jewellery maker and designer. She's gorgeous. And if you have a look at her, search for her on Facebook, she puts some beautiful photos. Why haven't we got her in here? Come I don't Jean, know. She needs to be come here, she? and I visit us. We need you on the Sunday experience. And she turns her hand to. She's brilliant. Well, she needs to come in. We need yeah. you, Jean. Jean, we need you. <laughs> okay. And wow. um, this is 190. And um, it's from Marida. What a beautiful name, Marida. Marida. And um, she says, hi, hi, JM. This is my entry for this week's Wall of Fame, inspired by Laura Binding. We're all inspired by Laura Binding, aren't we? But this one in particular. All gems and findings from JM. Regards, Marida. Marida. What a gorgeous Lovely. name. I love red. Really, really nice. Isn't it fun? And uh, do you know, red is so powerful a colour. Oh, yeah. It's, it, it appears to advance towards you. So when you wear it in jewellery, you're going to really stand out. It you? looks gorgeous. <gasps> do you remember when we had these gorgeous I do. butterflies? I do. And isn't that Were so you on pretty? I think we did these together. Oh, what I a lovely, know. lovely piece of jewellery. My beautiful. nieces would go bananas for this. My niece Leia would love this. Uh, it's from Susan in Glasgow, and Susan says, first time in a long while for sending in a design. I hope I get lucky. Rose quartz butterflies with aquamarine, all from Jewelry Maker. Well, you know what, Susan? I think this is pretty as a picture. I think it's absolutely beautiful. It's just so perfectly pretty. presented, isn't it? Yeah. Because you couldn't have done it any better. I love that. I love that too. Please get involved with the Wall of Fame. We want every stage of your jewellery making. Um, send your entries to studio at jewellerymaker.com. Now, I can confirm that oysters, in fact, change gender throughout their life. That's interesting. Isn't that funny? Wouldn't that be good if we could do that? I'm thinking it would be good. Mm. 
I would do it, you know, like when the football's on and things like that. <laughs> I'd get in touch with my male side. And then I when I want to go shopping girl. and go for afternoon tea and I don't want to be a boy. Again. Really? I don't know how I you would know. decide. Anyway, <laughs> do you know what? I've definitely got something feminine for you <laughs> in the aquamarine strand that's coming up. Do you like what I did there? Do you like that? How gorgeous are these? They look so antique, don't they? They're coming up for you, my gorgeous male or female jewellery makers, after this. Buying jewellery online from us has just become even easier with our new streamlined checkout service. We've made some little changes to make our website more accessible for all of the different ways you shop online, and now it's even easier using a mobile phone or tablet. Once you have added your items to your shopping basket, you can decide to check out now or save for later. Saving an item for later means you can easily find them in your own time, but don't forget to check back soon as all our items are selling fast. One of just a few changes that will make buying jewellery from us even easier. Do you need a helping hand to get started with Jewellery Maker? Are you stuck for ideas and need inspiration? Then visit our Jewellery Maker website where you can find our video tutorials. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow jewellery making demonstrations. Whether you're a beginner, hobbyist or business owner, there's always something new to learn. It couldn't be easier. Simply click and learn some new jewellery making techniques. Our commitment here at Jewellery Maker is to provide you with genuine gemstones. Many places might not be able to do that, but we want to guarantee it. So how do we do it? We go to the laboratories and we get tests. We have our own in-house gemologists that can guarantee that when we say genuine gemstones, that's exactly what you're getting. Add to your collection with our Sculpey Clay Projects DVD full of handy tips and hints for all levels. Join guest designer Debbie Bulford as she teaches us how to create the Skinner Blend technique, how to use the extruder tool, how to make a three-part necklace and much more. To get your hands on a copy, phone our call centre now on 0800 644 655. Jewellery Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to put towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. The birth gemstone of March, Aquamarine, for hundreds and thousands of years has been famed for its beauty also of course its associations with so many myths and legends we see aquamarine set with diamonds in the high-end jewelers if you walk to around bond street you will see aquamarine jewelry hundreds and hundreds if not thousands of pounds now this color is striking sometimes we see very pale very soft very subtle aquamarine this strand has a wonderful powerful yet subtle color and you can certainly see the clarity can't you now these are most certainly individual individual pendants for bridal necklaces a very fine silver chain a very fine linking and that with a wedding dress will do it won't it now, aquamarine is a gemstone that uh, strong rumours have it is going to become the next precious gemstone. And of course, uh, chatting with Hannah Oxbury about this, who is our gemologist and of course our buyer, she absolutely expects the price tag to be driven up majorly when that happens. And she does expect that to be happening very soon in the very near future. Now, aquamarine is a gemstone that was the original gemstone placed into 
engagement rings. Before De Beers did that huge com campaign with a diamond, it was an aquamarine that was the traditional gemstone to put into engagement rings. So when you see vintage pieces of jewellery with this gemstone, it is very likely that it could be, if it's a ring, an engagement ring. This is a gemstone that you see with big price tags, you see with diamonds. I'm going to give you this strand for under £30 today and not by a whisker. I'd say that looking at the shape looking at the lapidary, looking at the facets of this gemstone, each gemstone on this strand, this is the best price aquamarine considering its quality that we've seen here at Jewellery Maker. How much would you expect to pay for this strand? Look at these. How much would you expect? So these are going under £30. What would you, Natalia Coleman, pay for, expect to profit? What, tell me everything about this kind of strand, because you do sell your jewellery on. Can I set it with silver clay? If not, how would I place it into silver clay jewellery? what would I do? You can set it after firing, so you definitely can't fire it in place, that's, a, that's an absolute no-no. But you can set it with prongs, with sil fine silver wire, Yes. you could set it with in silver bezel wire if you wanted to. Um, I love those for earrings, I just think they're just magnificent. Me too. And um, you know, so how many, how many pairs of earrings are you going to have in a strand like that? Ooh. And then you know, you're talking about just the name alone commands a good price. Aquamarine, I mean, your customers just love it, don't they? Yeah. So what would you pay for a strand like this, knowing what price tags you can charge, knowing the quality of this strand, knowing the price tag of previous strands, mm -hmm. it is going to be under £30. Well, you know, I, before you said that, you know, you are thinking 40 to £50 pounds mark because of the... Because it's a special strand. Yeah, because of the, uh, the quality of it and the desirability of it. So, y you know, I would... I would expect that kind of price, 40 to 50. Well, you are going to be very pleasantly surprised, Natalia Coleman, and not for the first time today. This high-end gemstone, this luxury gemstone, this incredible aquamarine, I just want to show you next to the strand of Labradorite we have got coming up for you later as well. It goes with so much. Look with the drops, how wonderful. Now, we're going to give you this exceptional strand for a very, very low price tag. Now, I'm going to encourage you to multi-buy now. I'm also going to encourage you to hop on the phone lines if that's the way you're shopping right now because the price tag will blow your socks off. If it doesn't, put the phone down, don't worry about it. Spend the rest of the day poodling around, smile on your face. But believe me you, if you don't get on the phone lines right now for this exceptional strand at its crazy low price tag and you miss out, you will be absolutely crestfallen. And I don't want that to happen to you because I love you. $14.95, an incredible value strand. This gorgeous aquamarine strand. Listen, if you're going to make a bridal piece out of this, one of these, independent, what are you going to sell that for? About 30 quid, I reckon, on a solid sterling silver fine chain, easily. Easily a profit maker. Absolutely outstanding in quality, outstanding in faceting, and 14.95, the most insane price tag. Again, Yet again, you are benefiting from the, from the buying power that we have here at Jewelry Maker. Can you get deals like this in your local bead shop? For, not in what I've been in. $14.95 WVR U55. You've got to check out baskets. There are unchecked baskets uh, with multiples in. I can see it uh, on the website. Please check out or you may miss out. This is a limited edition strand. You can absolutely just restrand this into a necklace and make that high-end piece of jewellery with those beautiful cashew pearls, details of which are at the bottom of your screen, 695 HDGP51. A crazy price for those. Or with your gold pearls. I do think they'll look stunning with your gold pearls. 
absolutely gorgeous. Well done to everybody, everybody that's got theirs. Now we've still got the Labradorite to come, don't forget. Good grief. Now, let's do a bit more colour, colour, colour. We do, do you know what? We need some depth. Look at, the, do you know, where have the large agate rounds been? Why haven't we seen so many this season? Now, Ben's just joined us, looking very dapper today, Ben. I like it when your country. He looks good in those mustard cords. I couldn't tell if it worked. I think it works. works. Oh, good. Yeah. Like, like the flat cap would look good right now. The brogues oh. look really good with the trousers. Oh, yeah, we're loving you. Ben's look today. Yeah. Sorry, we're giving. To, which apparently we're showing Ben too much attention. Someone's jealous. <laughs> hey, can't I? You don't look as smart as Ben today, Ryan. All right. Well, if you make an effort, I will praise you for it. Yeah, come Maria back dressed like you. Ben, and we'll talk. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> You're not safe around Natalia today, Ben. You're not safe. <laughs> He's going, you guys. Oh, no, you, you know me. Oh, you. I like my no, clothes. You. I like fashion. He looks good like He's that. I like this country look. look. I've been encouraging it. Do you like it? Oh, next it's tweed He's jacket. He's playing around with it. I like it. I like it too. Yeah. He's moved away from his Power Rangers outfit. You go from one extreme to the other, you do. Uh, yeah, it depends You're on the You're confusing my mind. <laughs> Have a look. <laughs> do you know what? Uh, do you agree we haven't had any big rounds like this for ages? No, we game? haven't. We used to get Let's them get all loads. the time. Didn't what is we? going on? Love this aubergine colour. Absolutely love it. Now I'm I'm thinking if you bought our early bird, this is gonna be great. I love gold and purple together. It reminds me of expensive chocolate boxes. Mmm, chocolates. Oh, look, look. I'm, go I'm gonna be real square about this and use these, t these three together and save this for my gold wire. Is that terrible? You'd mix them up, wouldn't you, Natalia Coleman? Well, you know, you could try lots of different combinations, couldn't you? Natalia's more of a mover and a shaker than me. <laughs> now, I love these colors. And you've got the top drilled kind of trapezoids. Now, if it's colour you want, it's colour you have here. And these big rounds are just great for stretchy bracelets. They're just great if you're starting off. Do you know, they actually look amazing either end of a chainmail bracelet as well. Even though they're massive, they do look good, nice and mm -hmm. chunky. If you do, they also look good with Viking knit, mm -hmm. don't they, in a bracelet? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great. Definitely. Just to finish it off, just to end it off. You've got tonal color, VSGC16. The multicolor drop star nuggets are 12 by nine to 14 by 10 on the graduation. And then 11 by five on the triangles that are top drilled. Purple banded agate rounds are 16 mil. Let's give you your trio price tag for all this color. What are you gonna do with these? Mix them up. Put them in overhead necklaces. I like the idea of these being in clusters, head pink clusters, like a bubble style bracelet. I like that. And I love the colours. I love that they all go together. Are you ever suffering, like so many of us do, with a mental block when it comes to colour mixing? If you're using felt, this is your bundle because, my goodness, aren't these all the colours we're using for felts and sari silks? Talking of which, we'll be with you at two o'clock with something exciting with Natalia Coleman. That's the theme tune to the show that we're doing. We'll quickly record that in a minute. So uh, Laura was gonna give you a prize, but she's decided that you deserve a treat today. Didn't like that price tag, Laura, no? Okay, we're gonna go even lower. Are you ready? We are going to give you the opportunity to create. Do you know, actually, would you pick these out? Would you pick these out individually? Let me just show you each strand. Look, they're top drilled. What can you do with a shape like this? Could you make a flower, Natalia? You could, couldn't you? Sorry, I can't see the shape. 
There you go. Sorry. Yeah, you can. Yeah. yeah, you can make a very cute flower with those. I like these colours together. Do you agree that they would go really well with my felt? Yes, definitely. Well, the felts are really jolly, aren't they? And yeah. the perspex as well. You know, don't forget the perspex and um, and how pretty and punchy primary colours we've got in that. I love that perspex. Yeah, I do. Do you do it? Hannah Archer is great at yes, that. Yes, and do you know I'm working on some projects with uh, with metal clays and uh, and perspex at how the moment. How wonderful! Yeah. Oh, I love the idea of this. Very exciting times at Jewelry Maker Towers. Look at that, all the mix of colours. And then look. And you get two of these, mind. Mind. <laughs> get two, mind. Back on farm, then. Get two of them, mind. There's two of them cows loose, mind. Total colour VSG C16. You have got one, two, three, four strands. For nine pounds and ninety, what's that? Two fifty a strand? Less than two fifty a strand, just a little bit less. Well, I think we can manage that. Oh, it's lovely to just boost up your stash, isn't it? Don't you think? Just boost that stash up for nine pounds and ninety-five pence. You've got the opportunity to do just that. Well done to all that are involved in this one. It's a great one for Christmas decorations as well. These are kind of the colours that you see paper chain in too, aren't they? Now, I'm going to give you Ooh la la, these are kind of cranberry, we're describing them as purple but they're kind of cranberry aren't they? Yeah they are, they're like a red aren't they, pinky red. Oh I like these, would we say they were magenta or are they not deep enough? Mm. Depends on, the, they really catch the light and they've got a pink look don't they? Look, look, yeah, yeah. I really like these. Again, this is going to be one for my Christmas. I, I, my Christmas table is going to be so... It will be so insane. colourful, won't yeah. it? Well, I think at the base of candles, they just look really elegant. Yeah, definitely. And, and if you had the gold, I wouldn't... Yeah. Now, that would be very, very luxurious if you added the gold. So I wouldn't put these on my Christmas table. They're going around my neck. But if you have gold-coloured pearls, they'd be great with the white pearls as well. I adore this. I love it. And you get two strands, by the way, not just one. Purple rain. Bit of prints. Look. Laura, you shouldn't name things purple rain, because now that song's going to be in my head all day. You're going to get an amazing price. These are big pearls, aren't they? What would you do with these, Natalia or Alia? Um, I can imagine having like two strands of those mm. and um, one slightly lower than the other and then connecting them with making a big flower out of Ooh, some gemstones yes. and having that as a, as a, as a focal point. Yeah. And bring those two to a meeting point there yeah. and then carry on around the neckline with yeah. one strand. So very Elizabeth Taylor-esque. Oh, I love be. Elizabeth Taylor. She was beautiful. She, was, she had a good eye for jewellery as well. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Now these will go with your top again. Real sort of mulberry colour, that's what it is. A mulberry. Have you ever had a mulberry before? Uh, I haven't. Like a lo it's kind of like a loganberry. No. Like a long raspberry but a blackberry <laughs> at the same time. A mulberry. Ah, oh, I have to look out for those. I haven't. No. Pomegranates. We used to have, they kind, kind of are pomegranate. You used to have a, mul a mulberry bush. Now look, if you love these, you've got to be quick because the deal you're about to get them for is insane. Two strands of pearls. Happy to pay 19.95 for two strands of pearls, right? Not today. Not today, my darling jewelry makers, because it seems to be pearl day. Are you ready for another incredibly low price tag? That lovely, those, do you know, these will look amazing with mustards as well and golds. £12.95 is your price tag for two strands of gorgeous pearls. These really are stunning. It's winter time, so it's time to embrace those rich, rich tones, those lovely, lovely colours that you're seeing here. MTG C83 is your item code. Purple Rain is the name of your bundle. If you're shopping online, it's jewelrymaker.com. You can use your debit card or your credit card. Anybody who's shopping with us today will receive, of course, and and as always, a 30-day no questions asked money back guarantee. If you don't love them, you simply send them back. Do you know what? Two strands is a necklace. I would, do you know, I love doing that. And if you if you get your slider toggle clasp, they'll stay 
like that. Maybe you want to put another gemstone in between. You can create that nice choker look. Again, very, very Christmassy. I'm thinking about creating Christmas gifts again. If you want to, oh, that is lovely. Do you like that? I love it. What outfit would you wear? Isn't that gorgeous? Just like that, all you need is a two hole um, slide to toggle clasp, isn't it, to keep them in place like that? Yeah. Wonderful, wonderfully beautiful. Twelve ninety-five for two stones. I mean, this doesn't happen often, does it? It really doesn't. Please don't. I mean, you can still offer your customers the price tag that pearls should be at once they're in jewellery. You really can. There's no need. There's no need for you to lower your price tags just because we have here in this instance. Definitely a clearance deal here. Twelve ninety-five, two strands of wonderful, wonderful pearls. Now. I've been grabbing this strand of labradorite all day. Now, the first thing that comes to mind after I've been blown away by the labradorescence is the length of this strand. It's a very long strand of labradorite, so already I need it because I know I'm going to get value for money because I know I'm going to get more on the strand than usual. Now, have a look. We anticipate a sellout for this strand. Um, this is our, look at that, woof! most popular gemstone here at Jewelry Maker. I'm just going to take this black background away so you can just enjoy that labradorescence. Look at it. Now it's very hard to show you labradorescence in studio lights. So for you to be able to pick it up with such ease, please almost up to 20, 30 times more powerful when you get it home, I reckon. Don't you think? Look at that golds and greens and blues. now. The more powerful the labradorescence in Labradorite, the more layers they are to it. Uh, the more layers there are to it, the better quality it seems to be. Now, you may have researched this gemstone actually lately. Maybe you've been sort of getting into jewelry making, a lot of new jewelry makers. Maybe you've sort of done a bit of a research on Labradorite and you've had to look at the expensive pieces, you know, the really expensive companies, really exclusive jewelers. And you've noticed something, A, the massive price tag, but B, have you noticed that some of the pieces, sometimes the Labradorite is quite crackly. Do you know what I mean? It's still beautiful, but hasn't got the fluid movement that some of our Labradorite has. And, and do you see what I mean here? No crackles, just fluidity in Labradorescence. Now, I am absolutely loving that fluidity. I think this is a very, very special strand indeed. Wow, incredibly beautiful. Earrings again, just like the Labradorite, uh, the uh, Aquamarine. I would treat these as individual pendants. Now, this is one of our most exclusive strands, and if you did buy the Aquamarine, I'm most certainly encouraging you to pick up this strand and think about how I've just intertwined them here to make, in in essence, a hair vine is how I would do that. I think they're harmonious together. Now, Natalia, I know I know very much that this is one of your favorite, favorite gemstones. Talk to me about these drops in particular and how you would put them into the Natalia Coleman collection of gorgeous jewelry. Um, I imagine them um, being spaced out on a, on a necklace you know, very delicate little mm, necklace. Absolutely. You know, we do those um, silver little spacer tubes. Yes. That would look lovely, wouldn't it? And oh, yes. um, I, I just think very evening, very special occasion, because it, it is that kind of gemstone, and, and you know, as that gems of distinction strand, something that you would want to keep, that you would put on and think, yes, I'm going somewhere, and I want to feel like I'm very glamorous. I just love the power behind this. Strikingly powerful. Now, if you, rose quartz looks great with this as well. So if you've got any rose quartz in your collection, it's gonna look stunning, stunning, stunning. We're gonna give you a one. Now, there's lots of you on the phone lines already for this one, I know. So let's make it fair to everybody who's shopping on the phone lines because you're buying this in crazy quantities on the website. Is it that mad price? Is it the beauty of the gems? Is it a combination of both? What do you think? Twenty-four ninety-five is fair, isn't it? But we're going under twenty pounds with this strand. Look at the quality. Now, just look at the quality and look at that price tag. Do they reflect? No, no, no. Eleven ninety-five. You have to have this strand. It's a strand of extreme excellence.
11 95 unbelievable I can't believe this price tag bubble bracelets oh, gosh this is gorgeous well done to everybody that's got theirs. It is so lovely to have you on board today. 0800 is that free phone number. Labradorite is a gemstone. That is a Canadian gemstone. Do a lot of research on this gemstone. Lots of myth and legend behind it. It's so magical looking, isn't it? Why is Labradorite any less beautiful than a diamond? Or in fact, is it less beautiful than a diamond? Is it just the price tag that deceives us? especially us ladies I know why we love diamonds they're pretty because they're expensive as well isn't it we feel exclusive when we're wearing them you should feel exclusive when you wear Labradorite because it is that special 11 95 for that fairy wing iridescence the blues the golds the purples can be seen in this strand just such a celebration of color and gemstones alike with a gemstone like Labrador. If you've never used it before, definitely encouraging you to grab this one. And because they're pointed rather than domed at the top, you can really fill gaps if you're doing wire work pieces. Easy flowers you can make out of these. Just run your monofilament filament through the top and of five of them, draw them together, tie them in a knot, gorgeous. Now, I have got such a crazy deal for you now. If you're thinking, okay, we've had so many warm tones, we've also had a few bundles that have offered you really, really bright in your face colors, but you're shopping today for subtlety. You want something soft. You want more nude, muted, feminine tones, and you want the gemstones to have a little bit of a story behind them. I've got the bundle that you're gonna love right now. First of all, center drilled drops of beautiful lavender amethyst if you've ever seen a lavender field sort of disappearing into the background this amazing color it just is captured in this gemstone isn't it now you've also got and i just think this is the do you know what i love this bundle these are my kind of colors now, what femininity is that? Incredibly beautiful, wonderfully soft, whisper quiet colors, like tiptoeing. I love it. And you're also getting, look at this, the Dominican Republic gemstone that is Laram. I love these together. And do you know what else? You get the blessing of the marquee shell because now I'm going to make flowers. I love this bundle. Natalia, I know you're a massive fan of these soft feminine colours. I know they go so well with this silver clay and, and also actually with the copper clay. Gosh, what would you do with these? Would I would put these all together. I yeah. love these colours together. I love those colours together and I think they're the kind of um, strands and, and gemstones that you don't even need to have a plan for. Just, you know, Bring them into your stash, acquaint uh -huh. them with what you've already got. Um, something will, will occur to you in the fullness of time and you'll have them ready for that, that special piece that you're making. That is gonna be beautiful no matter what you do with them. I agree. I think when you get colors like this and you take everything off the strand, you put it all on your beadboard, it makes itself. You start to cluster, you start to create, you use those marquees as your petals. They are beautiful, beautiful, beyond beautiful. I love this bundle. Don't you love it? It's very limited. And of course, because of the Laramar, you do expect this a very, very high-end purchase. Laramar is the gemstone in the Dominican Republic. You can only get it in the Dominican Republic. By the way, it's not cheap to go to the Dominican Republic. I'd love like to go there though if you want to take me it's fine but it's too you know what and in fact Claire um, who is one of our directors here went to the Dominican Republic about three or four weeks ago and she said Larimar was so expensive go and have a little bit of a web search about Larimar have a look at the jewelry have a look at the surroundings have a look at the pictures of the Dominican Republic let it inspire you when you're creating your jewelry and, and let's have a look in fact at exactly what we've got shape and size wise well we know that big round rose quartz round at 14 mil is going to lend itself wonderfully because it's subtle in color but powerful in size you can create a focal point without detracting from the rest of the jewelry that you're creating i love to put 
the amethyst and the rose quartz together. And I have, uh, do you know what? I love all this this colour together. I just adore these. We have got such a scope. We've got marquee shapes. They're wonderful for earrings. Wonderful, as I mentioned, for petals. They are 30 by 10. Are they lovely? Are they gorgeous? Your Larimar, 5 by 3 to 9 by 3. If you've got the Chipper Nugget DVD, then you've already got oodles of ideas for that. And, and the same can be said for your uh, Amethyst Nuggets. Mix them with pearls, keep them together. I would certainly encourage everyone to keep these together. I know you might have so many different ideas and you're thinking, Jenny, no, I want to separate every single one of them. Whatever you do, send it to our wall of fame. So Larimar is expensive. Larimar doesn't massively fall under 15 pounds, does it? 14.95 is about the right price for Larimar, I would say. What do you think? Have you paid more than that? Have you been to the Dominican Republic? Have you seen how expensive Larimar is? Well, you know, of course, with the amethyst, there's January's birthstone, uh, February's birthstone right there. Rose quartz, household name, the shell giving that palescence that we all love. Let's see. How much is this bundle of four wonderful gemstones? Different colours, different sizes, different shapes. <gasps> 250 a strand. Oh my gosh, Hannah Oxford's gonna kill you. There's Larimar in here. Really? You're, you're mad. She's mad. Absolute insanity from Laura Androliogia. <laughs> ABG C13. Crazy. I, I adore this, but like, I've got so much to say about these colours together. I just love them. I absolutely adore this. Aaron, Amethyst, Lara, you could do, do you know, I just want to put them all together. Look at this. Laura just wants to see those twisted together. They are gorgeous. Lots of you on the phone, so please, please bear with the cues. Aren't they lovely? And then maybe you want to do, bring it to a centre in a bracelet and just have one of these and then continue that around. I love that idea. Rose quartz ring. Absolutely, of course you could. A big flower. Would you split them up? Are you going to use them? What are you going to? Oh, Natalia, I like what you're doing there. Oh, now you're using that lovely, um, that lovely leather suede the cord. Yeah, what a smells, gorgeous. Do you know whilst I've been using it, it smells gorgeous and it would look perfect with that. Yeah, oh, I think lovely, so. Uh, you got purple colors. and pink in there, didn't you? Mm -hmm. That'd be lovely. A bit of suede cord, lovely. If you got that, if you got that. There are lots of you in a queue on the phone and well done to each and every one of you. Oh, there's no queue in cyberspace, is there? Check out baskets though. $9.95, great price tag, wonderful gems. It's very soft, very feminine. No queue, there ain't no, there ain't no queue in the Jetsons don't queue, do they? $9.95. Do you think it's gonna be like the Jetsons one day? Good, I'm glad you said yes to that, Ryan. Yes, he said. Now. Can I recap the early bird, please, Laura and Jolie Ogly Ogly? We have got robots now that talk. They, well, they sent one up in space, didn't they? About a month ago. Rosie was the, the name of Rosie. She talked like that. She was from New York. I love the Jetsons. I, would, I expected to be driving around in my little Jetson mobile by now, did you? When you were little, we like, right, when I'm 30, which by the way is really old when you're six years old. There will be aliens and everything. There isn't. I'm thoroughly disappointed. Anyway. <laughs> oh, Cass is going to hate me for this. Woo! Look at all of these. Fan, bloom, fantastic. We decided they look like titanium. Then you've got the rainbow. And then you've got... You've got... Where's my... Where is my... Tweezers. Thanks, Cass. Did you steal them or did I lose them? Have a look. You have got... So we decided these look like titanium. And then you've got the rainbow. I'm thinking, do we not need rainbow-coated findings? Do you think? That's what I'm... Do you think that would be nice, a rainbow, rainbow uh, coated finding? Laura, you don't think that would be good? I, I love that idea, mystic coated findings. 
Laura's like, mm, I don't know. I think it's a great idea. Because I'm just thinking I'd like to run a head pin through the mystic coated ones, but I wouldn't want to take away from the mystic coating. So if I had a mystic coated head pin, I mean, I know it's a massive extreme to want a mystic coated head pin for just that one design, but <laughs> that's how much of a jewelry making diva I am. Mystic coated wire. Yes, make it happen. Although I'm still waiting for my white wire. White wire, why haven't we got white wire? Why, 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 why? Have a look. There was a, t a kids' TV program called the Zoobs, and they, and they, are, they sing that Why, Why, Why song. It's really annoying. Have a look. This is, look, all, we reckon about four strands in this tube. So what would you pay for four strands? Well, listen, we, I, reckon, I reckon the lowest you're going to see a strand is about six quid. 6.45, let's say. What's that times for, Laura? Because I can't do that math because I just ain't equipped in the mathematical department of my brain. 25 pound and 80 pence. One, two, three. We reckon at least four strands. So you should be paying over £20, we reckon. Now, are we calling these rondelles? I think we are. I would like to see these in a bubble bracelet with a head pin. And it doesn't really matter what colour head pin. I'm thinking antique bronze would look good with the, um, with the rainbow coloured. I love that titanium colour. Isn't, isn't this great? Now, you could sew these in like sequins. They'd make nice sequins. Look at all of these. I mean, come on. They're great embellishments that tiaras, fascinators. Look, you get so many, I wouldn't even dream to count them. No way, I'm not doing that. FDGK76. Your deluxe gem selection, 400 carats of hematite. And what I love about hematite, it's got weight to it. So it makes your jewelry feel expensive, doesn't it? These look wonderful interspersed with, you know how everyone's going crazy for chainmail at the moment? Four of these an inch of chain mail. Four of these, an inch of chain. Great, I love that. Oh, gizmo coil, great stuff. Here is our early bird deal. They're only six pounds and 95 pence for these. Whole tube of gorgeous luxury for 6.95. Wonderful opportunity for you. Wonderful price tag. Incredible value is what it's all about here. This morning on Jewelry Maker, of course, of course, you can get involved on the website or on the phone lines. You will have Indeed, as always, 30-day money-back guarantee. Adding sparkle to your jewellery, Natalia, is always a good idea, especially in this season. Wintry seasons, we tend to get a little bit more glamorous and sparkly in a, of an evening, don't we? Of course we do, you know, the darker. As we bring out the bling. And we've got so many do's that we go to, don't we? Starts from I'm about November. We need a Christmas do. We need something. We don't, I can't believe yeah. we don't have a do. And then, you know, can you imagine all of the jewellery? I can't be... wait. I think we, we should do it in that room. Yeah, we can just um, it make, be our, make our jewellery, bring our outfits in, and all make something for one another. That's a good that idea. That would be really good, wouldn't Embellish it? Embellish your friends. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do that. I'm gonna, who would I dress? Who's Ben going to dress would be the most important I would, thing. Ben could dress me. He's got style. <laughs> now, you've got to be quick. There are lots of you on the phone lines for this. I've just got to let you know there is a queue. Oh, who's my, somebody's bought five of these. Well done. Well, do you know what? Value is key here. Incredible. This is the only tube we have. It's brand new today. It's just in this show at the moment. So woohoo, is it going to sell out? Could quite possibly happen. I do like the idea of sewing these into an outfit. It's kind of strictly, isn't it? So everyone was talking about today. Who's on Strictly this year? Well, these are very glamorous. Rachel Riley. Who's she? Vanessa Feltz. I love Vanessa Feltz. Yeah, she's I hilariously do. funny. When I drive here, she's on at five o'clock in the morning. I, and I always listen to her. I do the same. It's too young. It's too old for you, Ben. It's too old for you. We're too old. Have a look at these. They just are gorgeous. We've got, a, do you know what? Last week, Laura and I did something rather sneaky peeky. 
A bit sneaky peeky, aren't we, Laws? We are going to give to you a display box now. Are you doing... Right, these are going to be 12 95 for two. And the reason I'm telling you that straight away is because these are going to sell out. So if you wanted them, if you missed out on them, we are very, 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 very uber, uber limited on these. Now, you went bananas for them last time. This is how they'll come to you. So you've got that velvet backing, which is lovely. And if you, have you ever been to a rock and gem show where every, well, the jewellery looks dead expensive and everything's in, we have them in the race course in Cheltenham, and everything's in glass cases, sort of like the antique rings and things like that. Well, what we've done, and you've got the, um, the little clasps there, is we've added the foam straight away, 12 95 You will not get the jewellery, obviously. You've got the glass... Uh, top so you can see through those and get two you are getting two here's an example of how you could display your jewelry we have put some gorgeous you could put anything in there you wanted uh, we've added these little um we've added the strips to push in um, some rings and things like that yours will come with the velvet backing display your gemstones Display your gemstones, absolutely. Natalia, displaying your jewellery, really important um, when you're doing your uh, craft fairs and things like that. Now, we have got about four seconds before these sell out at 12 95 Don't you think this is incredible? I love those. And um, I just can't think of anything better. Yeah, because they're really heavy, they look expensive. Mm -hmm. They're secure as well. So, you know, for your nicer pieces, you just put those in there. People ask to try them on, and that makes a whole occasion out of buying the piece of jewelry, which is yes. what you want, isn't it? Exactly right. Exactly right. It does make it special. And when it's encased like that, you think, oh, whatever's in there is, is, yeah. is good enough to be locked away. Uh -huh. They've gone and sold out. Well done. Now, I like those, do you? I hope we're gonna get some more of those in. Do you think we will? I don't know. Now, let's give to you. What should we do? Do you know what? Is this Cal Sedney? Wow. Amazonite and Cal Sedney. Now these are gonna be a considered purchase. They're beautiful. If you bought, oh, look at these together. Now they're two separate strands actually. Amazonite, You've got, do you know, I'm thinking of Fabergé here. These are gorgeous. So you can see the difference. The cow certainly has the clarity and the Amazonite does not. But look at the pattern. Does not. I don't know what accent <laughs> that was. So two separate strands. I'm thinking the last bundle this would look amazing with. Look. Don't you think? If you bought that. How wonderful are they together? Oh, I love that. These are both gems of distinction strands. So the creme de la creme here at Jewelry Maker, our finest examples. And look at the fasting, aren't these beautiful? I really enjoy this color. I think it's very 1920s. And if you want to create that kind of look, this is most certainly your strand. You should be paying 30 pounds called Blue Sky. The Amazonite graduated pairs range from 10 by 7 to 18 by 11 on an 18 centimeter strand. The Blue Cow Sedney, 10 by 8 to 15 by 10 on a 20 centimetre strand. I just want to show you the Calcedony up to the neckline because look at this. Have a look. I just think you can, how pretty is that? So pretty. And then I'm going to take the other one. How gorgeous are these? Aren't they fabulous? Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, Natalia, would you keep these together? Would you mix them up? Are these gemstones that you've used before? Cow Sedney oh, and Amazon. I would, yeah, mix them up together because you can see the difference, can't you? Absolutely. But then they just, they just sit together so well. But you know they're in a cascading down your hand like that. You just want them in a little waterfall tassel oh, yeah. effect, don't you? Mm. Or in a vine. Do you know, vintage wedding jewellery, this would look stunning. Yeah. Just, you know how um, a lot of the girls are wearing those really sort of, not scruffy, but those big French plaits going right from here all the way yeah. down to there. Mm -hmm. And then they have gemstones like around the back. It's, it's or gorgeous, into a bun with the gemstones at the back of the hair. It looks so pretty. So pretty. 
And I think about these in tiaras and fascinators too. I think they look gorgeous. Aren't they pretty? Both gems of distinction strands in these teardrops with these facets. <gasps> Hair vines, earrings, pendants. They should be 30 pounds, but they're not. Today, we are going to give you this duo. What should they be together? 30 pounds. This is almost a couple of quid off half price. Just two pounds off half price. Well, what a deal. And don't we all just adore blues? Can you imagine this with your copper wire? Or with your copper pre precious metal clay? Oh, I love it. And don't forget, at two o'clock, we have got a masterclass with Natalia. Do not miss out on the masterclass because we have got some hot to trot pieces coming up for you. $17.95 is your price tag for these gorgeous, gorgeous gemstone strands or both gems of distinction. Now what about what about these lovely lavender amethyst leaves together? Oh let me just put them, sorry Benji. We've got a mixed medium um, masterclass coming up for you. We've got fabrics and we've got clay. That's coming up for you at two o'clock. Look at that. Do you know what? These are beautiful together. That's a vintage bouquet there, isn't it? Don't you think that's pretty? That is so pretty, isn't it? Love it really that. is. MKG P77. Yeah, amethyst top drilled, fancy leaf beads, hand carved. Very limited stock right now. Brand new today, top drilled. I think if you bought the suede, these are going to look really bohemian. Pair of earrings, piece of suede, one of these on the end, and a feather. How fab is this strand. I do love a brand new strand, do you? Look at the, look at the striping colour, and this is of course amethyst. People just recognise straight away amethyst, don't they? Look at the different tones. You can do, it almost like dog tooth amethyst there. It's January's birthstone, as well. it's February's, I keep doing that. January's is garnet. Aren't they gorgeous? They are beautiful, aren't they? I think your customers recognise amethyst as well. We don't see hand-carved leaves in amethyst very often. When was the last time you saw something like this? Now, these are your last, last chance opportunities right now. If you're watching the repeat show, I'm keeping my fingers crossed, but of course I can't make any guarantees. Oh, goodness me, we're giving you... Oh, I forgot, how many do we have in here? Was it 16? Yep, 16 in my strand. You should get there or thereabouts. Always the same carat weight. If, again, if you bought that bundle from earlier with the Laramar, rose quartz, gorgeous together. I love those soft tones together. How are you going to add these into your designs? Is it going to be Miraflore you're going to mix these up with? Are you going to make wire work flowers, mesh flowers? It's going to look incredible, isn't it? Are you ready for an Uber deal? We're gonna get, we're just having a few problems with our Graficos and it's coming now. Here's your price tag. Eight pounds and 95 pence for 16 gemstones. Do you know what? That's a brilliant price tag, isn't it? Way less than a pound each, hair vines. Using these at the bottoms of stems, putting these on a brooch. Miraflore, if you're using Marquise gemstones to create flowers. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Check out Baskets if you're shopping online with us today. Don't forget your 30 day money back guarantee on everything that you buy from us here at Jewelry Maker. I'm getting really excited for two o'clock now when Natalia is going to be bringing us a mixture of fabrics and precious metals. Definitely excited. Now, let's stick on that green theme. 
Is this Russian Amazonite? Oh. Two strands of Russian Amazonite. You've got two double strands, and I think just straight over the head is a necklace. How gorgeous does that look? Don't you think that's beautiful? Such a gorgeous colour. Now, I'm also going to give to you. Check out how many gemstones. And again, if you've got Chip and Nugget DVD, you're going to need this. I love this shape. We don't see enough of these little coins, these puffy coins. Oh, aren't those gorgeous all together? How fab are they? Look at that. It's fantastic, isn't it? Are you thinking now, running water, streams, waterfalls, Amazon River, that's, yeah, well, that's very fitting. What about Monet? His use of, of lovely colours like this together in a Monet painting. Uh, what's the famous one called again? Natalia, do you know Monet? Is I it? do know Monet. Water lilies. Water lilies, that's it. Thanks, Oliver. <laughs> He's like, my voice was very deep then, wasn't it? Water lilies. <laughs> Thanks, Natalia. <laughs> Natalia. You're like the oyster. You're flipping from male and female. <laughs> <laughs> now it's about texture isn't it and actually if we're thinking about putting our pearls with anything I'd love to see the white cashew pearls with these because now that water is frothing and bubbling and it's gorgeous how wonderful are your is your jewelry gonna look I definitely think placing these chips and nuggets and if you have got Mark's DVD you've already got oodles of ideas now what about the flat coin the flat pennies I do love those. I think I like little buttons. Again, I'd love to see these sewn at the tops of gloves. Think about embellishing um, your accessories with gemstones as well as just, it's not just about jewellery. Genuine gemstones are fabulous in so many other ways. Scarves, weighing down a scarf, sewing them into fabrics. We're going to see that, of course, at, at 2 o'clock. Mix your mediums. Shake them up a little bit. Make them a little bit more exciting. Now we're going to give you two strands of each. So you've got two double strands. Essentially, if we're not nitpicky, we're talking about four strands. Because we could, we could cut these strands in half and say that's our standard strands, but we don't. We give them you double. And then we've got two single strands in your Amazonite coins. They're 10 mil. And your nuggets range between 5x3 to 12x4. Amazon River, BHGC87. Get on the phone lines. The price tag is ridiculous. If you miss out on this deal, it's going to be a foot stamping tantrum that you're going to have. Already stacks of you there. Maybe you've checked out the price tag on the website already. Are you ready? Now, we're not making any money on this price tag, I just want to let you know. Four strands for £9.95. That's less than £2.50 a strand. And you, my darling jewellery makers, have got so much for your stash. I always think a chip and nugget strand is the best idea because you get more for your money. And you know what? Tassels. Definitely put these on headpins and make a bubble style ring or bracelet. You've got stacks and stacks stacks and stacks of opportunities. This will look great with Natalia's challenge today. Wonderful amount of texture, wonderful colours, I love them. Do you know what, of course that bundle will go. Absolutely, it'll go with the amethyst. Look at that. I think that Laramar strand is gonna look incredible. You've got a lovely blend there with the Laramar, haven't you? Because the, 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 the Laramar could carry you to the Amazonite almost in colour, couldn't it? Oh, I love that. Well done to you. Oh, there are, if you're experiencing engaged tones, please keep trying. Now, I'm going to give you another treaty. Oh, way up. I just, do you know, you've got to have these on your Christmas tree. Anyone who's anyone, jewellery making. So you've got a Christmas Shambhala made out of these. Well, these have got to be a big beady bead bauble on your tree. Can you imagine a great big bauble made out of these or lots of little ones? I'm also going to give you shell. Do I get the shell in this as well? Or was that from earlier? Similar to um, this. So we have a piece of jewellery. Ooh, where did the little... Oh, she's just put some, this is cute. Have a look at what Rosanna's done. Little flower. That's cute, isn't it? Look, have a look at this. This is what I like. 
Is it reminds me of barley. Do you get that or not? Is that just my crazy brain? Kind of barley like. You know how it grows? No, you probably don't, city boy. I didn't know what was that thing about light you said yesterday? Light light pollution. Didn't have a clue what that was. Street lights, yeah. Have a look. So it looked like barley to me. Um, I really love this coral colour. And I actually think if you want to create really delicate earrings, just a tiny little drop, you'd use something like this. Now these make wonderful charms, wonderful bracelets. And I like what Rosanna's has done there actually with monofilament, spacing these out and tying them together. Of course, pick out the colors that you want for the petals with your um, top drill triangles. These could go in so many different ways, couldn't they? It's definitely a colour explosion that you're getting right now. The multicolour drop star nuggets, 12 by 9 to 14 by 10. Your rainbow, rainbow hematite, 12 mil, and your uh, red shell ovals, a 9 by 6. We're going to give you an incredible deal for one, two, three, four strands. You're paying again. How much is that a strand? Two, four, six, eight. 223 strand goodness me you need to get on the phone lines if you want a stash builder this is it for eight pounds and 95 pence one or two ways as always in which you can come on board with us here at jewelry maker enjoy your 30 day money back guarantee if you're thinking wow the value here is amazing i'm creating lots of jewelry for christmas and i need to make a profit then this is the kind of bundle for you but make sure you're checking out baskets lots of you buzzing around for this deal now, without further ado, we are going to go and pay a visit to the wonderful Natalia because it's time to have a look at what she's created from today's challenge. Remember, we oh. had the Rutel Quartz and we also had a sneaky edition of the suede cord. Come and check it out. Did I nab the cord? Oh, why I loved not? It. Oh, you've made a tassel. How gorgeous. It needs a bit of an iron. You know, I always I want to get my that. iron out on What's everything. What's wrong with you? Come and visit oh. me if you like ironing, for God's no, sake. No, I don't like ironing. I like jewellery making and ironing. Oh. That's the only kind That's of iron That's the only reason I I've like. got an iron. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I say don't iron unless you're being paid for it. No, I know. So I'm, I'm a bit frazzled because it was all kind of racing against the clock at the, at the last minute. You know what it's like. But um, we got there in the end. We certainly did. How fabulous. Now, um, do you know what? The Rutar Quartz, the, um, the Blue Quartz Ovals and the Shell Flowers a crazy price tag. I mean, that's crazy, isn't it? It's a really good price, isn't mm. it? You can't go wrong. You just have so many of them. I've got a load left in my bead board here. Now, I absolutely love how you've made that tassel. Just centre into the fact that Natalia's wrap, wrap, wrapped around that tassel. How do you, what, what, what gauge wire? 0.25. 0.25. Wire. And, uh, and just keep wrapping. Um, and it, it's really secure. So it was quite easy to make that. I just needed an iron. I don't think it does. You can't <laughs> iron suede, can you? Well, you put a little cloth over I'm the top of it. I'm not ironing it. No one needs yeah. to iron that. I, I would You're crazy. Ironing. You're crazy for the ironing. <laughs> you just, just listen. Don't make life hard for yourself. That I, iron, do, I it actually, it. Oh, it's the perfectionist in me. I can't help Are you it. A perfectionist. A little bit when it comes to certain things, and then not so. Are much you like Anthea it. Turner? Do you fold your towels in a certain way? I do. Way? Yes, I, I roll them and put them in a basket. I do in my that. Basket. <laughs> not for my own. But she is a perfectionist. Isn't yeah. It? You know. I like doing that. Oh, I love that. What, what is this? Is it a ladder weave? Yeah, it's just a ladder weave with a bit of wire exposed there. And it's the texture, isn't it? We're talking about texture yeah, here. Yes, lovely. With that Rutal Quartz, it's fantastic. Now, Natalia, very quickly tell everybody what's um, to be expected from you. We've got one minute to talk about the masterclass. Oh, the masterclass this afternoon, two o'clock, come join us. Going to be making some very simple copper clay pieces, getting lots of sari fabric and incorporating the two. So um, very colourful and uh, beautiful jewellery. Talk to us, Natalia, about any workshops that you might have coming up as well, I please. have two workshops next week. I've got Thursday and Friday, Introduction to Silver Clay and Ooh. Silver Clay Ring Making on the Friday. Are, are, are there any ring making? Are there any yeah. spaces? I think there probably are. I, I think, think Ruth is... Lynette, pre uh, presenter, wants to come in Does on the ring. Well, she came in last time, didn't she? Okay. 
Get yourself booked in. We'll even feed you. We will. I might give you yeah, a hug and a do. kiss as well. Now, um, <laughs> talk to Kirsty. She's in today. 0800 oh, six Do not forget to tune in at 2 o'clock where we are back live with Natalia's wonderful nut masterclass. Following that, live at 5, we have some more amazing deals for you in the late show from 5 p.m. until 9. For now, it's goodbye from me. See you later. Bye. Do you need a helping hand to get started with Jewelry Maker? Are you stuck for ideas and need inspiration? Then visit our Jewelry Maker website where you can find our video tutorials. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow jewelry making demonstrations. Whether you're a beginner, hobbyist or business owner, there's always something new to learn. It couldn't be easier. Simply click and learn some new jewelry making techniques. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. And each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their Jewelry Maker account, and the runner up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com. Or you can post your photos to Wall of Fame, The Genuine Gemstone Company, Unit 2D, Eagle Road, Moon's Moat, Redditch, B989HF. We all know you need the right tools for the job, so here at Jewelry Maker, we have designed a kit to make sure you have all the essentials to join in with the fun. With round nose, flat nose and wire cutter pliers, as well as a reamer, tweezers and a bead scoop, you've got everything you need in one place for just $9.95. We provide the tools, you provide the skills. When you place your first order with us, you will receive a free booklet and DVD full of handy hints, tips and tutorials to help you get started with your new Jewelry Maker hobby. You can now keep in touch by liking Jewelry Maker UK on Facebook. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. There are two easy ways to purchase from Jewelry Maker. You can watch our show on Sky, Virgin, Freeview or Freesat and call up.